All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice came in good, and let me know, please, if you have any problem or difficulty. Uh, today, we are going to review uh, an answer by a gentleman. He is from Indonesia, and we are not here to make fun of him. Absolutely not. Actually, I respect that, you know, they are trying to respond to us and uh, trying to answer. Uh, you know, actually, the problem is that uh, those who claim to have knowledge, they don't dare to call us. And uh, I mean, as you see, we are like we feel like uh, we are begging for one. Like who wanna call us? Who wanna debate us? Who wanna you know? And yet they claim they have knowledge, but they don't. As you see, they call themselves ustad. I mean, but where we can find them? Those ustad. And even if there is somebody he claimed that he can refute us, they don't wanna talk to us. You know. So I'm so glad that the gentleman, his name is Muslim uh, Man Jawab. Uh, I think this is man jawab mean answer, right? Because the jawab is an Arabic word, which mean answer, <coughs> min jawab. So it's me something in Indonesian language have to do with answering me. Uh, so we will review today what this gentleman he said to us regarding our previous video, which we did in the morning. If we go here, we find this uh, gentleman saying the following. First, you know, I mean, there's some comments. They have nothing to do with our topic. But anyway, he said, uh, CP, uh, donkeys is used by Jesus to enter Jerusalem in his last life. His last life? Hmm. Don't make everyone hurt, including Jesus who liked donkeys. And what does that mean? But my friend, we were talking in the morning that Jesus, he don't even own a donkey. While your prophet, he want to big the big TV, he want to big the big booty. If you want to see in, see him in a private consultation, you have to talk to him by paying him. Uh, he want to sleep with your wife. If his eyes fell into your wife, bum, you have to divorce her. So this is have nothing to do about Jesus liking the donkeys or not. However, if you, as long as you like donkeys, Allah don't like donkeys. If you go to the Quran, you will see Allah. He said Allah, not me. That the most voice supposedly Allah he hate this is why he mentioned the voice claiming that there's a guy his name is Luqman and Luqman is a person who Allah provide him by wisdom so this is the wisdom of Allah uh, uh, the most ugly voice according to the Quran is the voice of a donkey <clears throat> all right chapter 31 verse number 19 and i'm showing the translation in uh, in your language you know in in the indonesian language <clears throat> by the way in the morning we showed you uh, many verses in the indonesian uh, somebody said in the comment that it doesn't say let me see what what he said in the comment Somebody said that translation is not the same as I said, which means the translation is uh, not right. Let us see in the comment. Okay. Where we can find. All right. It says, uh, dear CP, the translation in Indonesian there, it, it just say messenger that speak the language of the people, but it, it missed mentioning that it was it, it must to be from the people. Yes, it says that. If you go in the Quran, <coughs> it has opened a different page, so we can save the one about the donkey if you're later. If you go in the Quran, you will see. It says, Bilisani qawmihi. In the tongue of his people so why did it not mention that in the translation that because Islamic translation always is a cover-up for stupidity of uh, uh, you know the Quran because this will get Muhammad busted so in here is you are saying I don't understand the uh, Indonesian language uh, it says kami tidak minatak minagatos Sayarong Rasul pun melanakha manakana denagan basha. Okay, uh, that you know, I, I, I'll translate to you later. Okay, <clears throat> I speak all languages uh, uh, because I'm Allah, I speak only Arabic. 
But if we go to the English translation, you see, I will switch now, just to show you how they lie to you when they translate. Actually, uh, we can use, let us see if we use, because there is Tafsir al Jalalain in Indonesian. You tell me what it says in Indonesian language for Tafsir al Jalalain. Uh, did that switch? No. Yeah, Tafsir al Jalalain. Okay. It doesn't sound like a switch. Uh, it doesn't sound like anything changed. Not like the page is acting up. <clears throat> let us see again. But anyway, let, let me show you in English because we can get them easier busted in, in English. This is the, uh, the interpretation, uh, sorry, in translation of Yusuf Ali. You see, we send not a messenger except to teach in the language of his own people. Do you see it? Because in Arabic it says, Qawmihi. This is the word. Qawmihi is his own people. It's not should not be even between two brackets because it says Qawmihi. His people. So he, he Allah will not send the messenger unless he is from the people speaking the tongue of the people. Alright? Now, if we go and see the Muslim, the Indonesian Muslim, <coughs> trying to give us the answer, <coughs> I apologize, my voice is tired, maybe. Uh, let us go down. Uh, look what he said. Uh, Quran, Quran is in Arabic, caused the first followers of Muhammad are Arabian. And then it's, it's shared for the world with many translation. Arabic Quran to ensure original, uh, originality. <laughs> Quran has less versions, not as the Bible, so many verses. What? It's about 40 more Bible. What does that mean? I mean, this is my friend. We when we say uh, King James version, that is a translation. That is not a new Bible. The same as you say Yusuf Ali translation, you same as you say uh, Biktal. You see how many, look, if we go in the list here, how many versions based in your understanding it exist? All of those are translations. Otherwise, we know we have the Bible in Hebrew, in Greek, uh, in Aramaic. Those are the original. But the, the, the rest is a, is a translation. So don't be a fool. Secondly, uh, you don't, you know, okay, you are saying, the reason the Quran in Arabic because Muhammad, his first followers are in Arabic. This is not my topic. You see, the problem is that they don't even listen. I don't want to insult this person. He did not, uh, you know, he is not rude. He is trying, like even he used the word fool. But look what he said. He said, because the, the Muhammad is an Arab and people who he is talking to, they are Arab. So the Quran is in Arabic. This is not the topic. The topic is, it says, we send not a messenger except to teach in the language of his own people in order to make it clear for them. Let me highlight that for you, which means it's not going to be clear unless it is in your language. This is the Quran saying that, not me. Do you see it? In order to make it, to make things clear to them. So why the Quran have to be in the language of the Arab? Because they are Arab, and this is the only way to make it clear to them. Okay, but but this is mean that Muhammad cannot be a messenger for you. You are from Indonesia, because we sent not a messenger except to teach in the language of his own people. So in order for Muhammad to be a messenger to you, he have to be Indonesian speaking one of the language of indonesia and by this he have to be to those who speak that language specifically let's say let us say in indonesia i don't know how many languages there let us say there's 10 languages so you cannot have one messenger for all those ethnic groups who speak different languages every ethnic group in indonesia have to have their own messenger who speak their own language and he is one of them in order to make it clear to them. That's mean Muhammad, he cannot be a prophet for you. So your answer has nothing to do with our question. And this is the, always what we notice about Muslims. They are very confused. You know, it's like they, they are taking hashish. You know, 
the Muslim right away he go to the mood to defense uh, and by the way all Muslims they accuse you to uh, you are a liar it doesn't matter what you say the second you speak negative about Islam you are a liar I mean we know actually Muhammad um, the, the funny they say they say we are liars isn't it Muhammad he says you can lie in three cases what is the three cases you can lie to your wife I mean, even to his wife, he cannot be true. I mean, a Muslim, he cannot be truthful with his wife. You can lie to your wife. You can lie to your friends. Supposedly, the purpose is to fix problems. I mean, how you can fix problem by lying? The lie itself is a problem. It's a big problem. Stupidity. And lying to your enemies. So we, for us, you know, we are not, we don't consider myself an enemy for the Muslims, but for them, I am an enemy. The Quran says, Kill the Christians and the Jews for they don't believe in Allah. So they, we are an enemy because we don't believe. So they are allowed to lie to us. So you can lie in three cases. One of them to your wife. One of them to fix problem with your friends by lying, supposedly. And the other one is to lie to your enemies. And for Muslims, we are enemies. Anyone who don't believe in Allah is an enemy. Islam divide the earth to two land, the land actually three lands. One is called the land of Kuffar, the one is called the land of Islam, and the other one is called Fitna, which means eh, it's between. And like, you know, uh, there is Muslims, but they are confused between to practice, not to practice. So anyone who is not living under Islam, he is an enemy for Allah. Anyone. So they can practice lying to you. So Muhammad, he made it clear. He said, in three, in like uh, Allah, he approved lying in three cases. <clears throat> and this is why a Muslim, whatever, anytime, uh, you talk to him about Islam, the first thing he will say to you, you are a liar. Because he take a defense mode, and uh, let us see. Huh, here we go. It's not lawful to lie except in three causes. Read carefully. Except in three causes. Something the man tell to his wife. What a, what what a great ethic. What a great ethic. This Muhammad is teaching the man. He can lie to your wife. And the Muslim, they will give you a hilarious explanation. And one of them, what if your wife asks you if you married another, another woman? You will say to her, no, you, that will cause you a problem. So you lie to her. You say, no, honey, you are the only one. Or what if your wife, she asks you, am I beautiful? And she is ugly. What you will say to her? You will say, yes, you are beautiful. So, I mean, they are silly, stupid. I mean, lying is lying. And lies from the devil. Jesus said, the Christ, the Messiah, our Lord, he said, who is the father of all lies? Who is the father of them? The devil. So Muhammad is the devil himself teaching people bad ethic, breaking the family because, you know, a, a family is based on lie, will not provide anything except lies. Then the second thing, <clears throat> uh, to lie during war. Hmm? Muslims, they are in war with everybody who don't believe in Islam. Everybody. Muhammad is said that in order to fight all mankind until they say there is no God but Allah and there is no prophet but the, the Fuf Muhammad. And lie in order to bring peace between the people. To fix things. Actually, it doesn't say bring peace. It says to fix things. Okay, so I have two guys. One of them, his, na his name is uh, Dudu and the other one, his name is Huhu. And they hate each other. So now I want to fix the problem between them. How I want to fix it? I go to the first one, I lie to him. And I go to the second one, I lie to him. And then I make them agree to shake hands, supposedly. But think about it. Sooner or later, they will find what I told them to make that happen is a lie. And they will hate me and they will hate each other again. And now the, the problem will be bigger. So you cannot speak to a muslim speaking negatively about islam without accusing you of a lie because lying lying is their process of defense why a muslim he have to lie to his wife it's a defense system 
I mean, why, why you cannot be truthful with her? You know what I mean? Lying is the immune system of Islam. What kind of a prophet he say to a man like your wife? I mean, what is what, why I cannot be truthful with my wife? Hmm? So lying is the first thing. They are the liars and they accuse you of lying as a defense. Because this is the strategy of the devil, Muhammad. So when when we go back to the to the this Muhammadan here from Indonesia, Muslim mean Jawab, uh, speaking about 40 version of the Bible, but isn't it the Quran says that Allah He sent the Bible? So why why there is 40 version of the Bible? I will go with you. Let us say for us assume for the sake of argument, there's billions of Bibles, which is different, let us say. But isn't it Allah He sent the Bible? And okay, now we will say. But Allah he decided to protect the Quran only. I mean, this is the most stupid answer. If this is true, that means your God, Allah, is mental. Stupid. So, guys, it's like me. I have a kitchen. Hmm? And I have many dishes in the kitchen counter. And the dishes have only my words. Hmm? One dish have the Bible, one uh, the Gospel, one have the Torah, uh, one have, uh, 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 you know, uh, the psalm, uh, one have uh, uh, the songs, one have uh, uh, the Quran, and then a thief he come. And I allow the thief, I'm watching, I allow the thief to steal all of them, play with them, damage them. Only the Quran I will protect. That is the most stupid argument ever. Because the word of God is word of God. Unless you are saying to me that there is a word of God are not equal to the word of God. Actually, your stupid book, the Quran, says it clearly that the word of Allah is not the same as the word of Allah. Let me show you. Try not to laugh, by the way. I will try to show it to you in, in, in Indonesian language. All right. <clears throat> Look at this verse, chapter 2, verse 106. I will, I will switch to the Indonesian, but first let us see it in English to confirm what we are saying because I don't understand really what it says in the Indonesian language. None of our revelation do we abrogate or cause to be forgotten. We will go back to the sentence here. But we substitute something better or similar. Look at this idiot. Allah, he claimed that he have Quran better than the Quran. Have you ever heard of a stupidity more than this? The funny, the Muslim, they say, can you make Quran better than the Quran? How Allah is making Quran better than... Look, is it me who is saying better or Allah? Is that... No, you know, this uh, the person from the people of Lut. Something better. How Allah will make better Quran than the Quran? That's mean the Quran is not the same. There's bad Quran, there's better Quran. This is what this, this is what the stupid author of the Quran is saying. And look what he's saying. You know, this guy is officially a certified idiot or something similar. I mean, what's wrong with you? Are you crazy or what? Yes, he is taking hashish. So you will make me forget the Quran. To make Quran that which is similar, I mean, are you stupid or what? I will give you an example. We send down the shish kebab, and we are the one who made it spicy, and we are the one who sent hail from mountains, and we are the one who made it icy. Like here we go. This is Quran. Now Allah. He don't like it. He will make something similar. So he will make you forget this verse. He forget it, forget it. Allah, he says, forget it, you forget it. <sighs> hey, Christian Prince, do you remember what I said to you a second ago? No, Allah, I forgot. Because you said forget it, so I forgot it. Okay, now I will give you something similar. Okay, what is something similar? We are the one who send the kebab. And we make it spicy. And we are the one who send the hail. And we make it icy. This is the same one. 
because he's saying it's similar. I mean, who is the donkey here? What is the purpose of this crazy? But because Muhammad is a fraud, he cannot remember what he said yesterday. So every day he tried to recite the Quran, he says something different. So he says, any verses we cause to abrogate or forgotten. And the funny they say to us that the Quran is preserved. But the Quran confirmed that this Quran is forgotten. The Quran confirmed that. Brother, brother the only book in the world it preserved in the Quran. Actually, we must we can recite the whole Quran. Yeah, we recite the whole Quran. Okay, recite for me the verses about stoning to death, or about a, a breastfeeding for adult, or recite for me the verses which is missing. As Aisha, she said, there's more than hundred ten something verses missing from the chapter of Al Ahzab alone. Al Ahzab alone is used to be equal to Al the cow chapter. This is what Aisha she said. And then, <clears throat> look at this. We are not done yet. None of our revelation we abrogate. Look at this guy. This guy, he abrogate revelation. By the morning, he abrogate the different uh, 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 you know, revelation by afternoon. If you go to the interpretation, you will see the Bedouin, the Arab, they said to Muhammad, the people of Quraysh, they said to him, this guy, he says something, he enjoy his people an order in the morning, and he abrogated afternoon. Or the second day. So Muhammad, he says something in the morning. He, he is a madman. People they start laughing at him. Second day in the morning, he wake up. They told him, "You are laughing at you." You know, no, no. So he abrogated. If you don't believe me that this is the scenario, I can show you the interpretation which is made by you, Muhammadan. Let us go to the interpretation. So because because you know they will say that he's lying. Great temperance is lying, but he's a liar. He's a liar, the Kretemprint, we get him busted. He's a big fat liar, Kretemprint. Okay, let us see if this is true. We go to the Tafsir. Your Islamic website. And we open the yellow pages of Muhammad, the Quran, chapter 2106. And we will put it in the screen. <clears throat> okay. Read, guys, carefully with me. Let me put it on the screen. Read with me and laugh at the stupid prophet who claimed to be a prophet. Obviously, he's a fraud. When the disbelievers read, read carefully, it's not me who is saying that. When the disbelievers began, okay, let me be sure that you see the whole text, you see it, okay. Yeah. When the disbeliever began to, bri uh, to, to write the matter of abrogation, saying <laughs> that one day Muhammad enjoins his companion to one thing, and then the second day he forbid it. Do you see it? I mean, have you ever heard a God is a stupid more than this God? In the morning he says something, afternoon he forbid it. Do you see it, guys? Is it Christian Prince saying that? No. Is that my translation? No. This is the official government of the, the fraud of the King of Jordan. Now we go to the Quran again. I'm going to open the uh, Indonesian translation, but you guys need to help me. I do not know what they are saying there because obviously they lie a lot in the translation. All right, we go to Indonesian. I need to learn Indonesian actually, that will be fun. Where is the Indonesian? We are in Urdu, we pass it. <clears throat> Indonesian, hello, Hindu, here we go, Basha, all right, all right, okay, let me read for you, because most of you do not know Indonesian, as you know, I'm, I'm, we are Arab, we know all languages in the world, Ayat mana saja yang kami nasakhakan 
اتو کامی جادی کان منی یوسا لوبا I know Luba, you know, Luba and her friends, they are, I know them, you know, we used to eat uh, Luba together, you know, like, uh, yeah, anyway, so, uh, <clears throat> anyway, uh, translation, any of our ayat, uh, uh, chapters, verses, we abrogate, cause to be forgotten, or abrogate, we will make something better, uh, uh, or similar, What do you think, Muhammadan? Have you ever heard of a stupid God more than this? I will make hummus better than hummus. Okay, uh, Allah. So you are saying the hummus you made yesterday is not good? Yes, the, the hummus yesterday was not good because we don't have enough uh, olive oil. Luba uh, mean forget? Okay. Uh, I'm going to borrow, borrow uh, you know, I, I will practice my Islamic uh, prophet uh, behavior and I will borrow money from, from, from you and I will say to you, Luba, just forget it. Have you ever heard of a God? He sent messages and he caused them to forget it. Why? I mean, what the purpose? What, what is the wisdom in this? Let us say for the sake of argument, you abrogate it. Abrogate it, okay, why? But, but why you are making them forgetting it? What is this? Right? And then, does it say that we will bring something similar or better? Does it say there in the translation? Does it say that? <clears throat> does it say that? Guys, you tell me. Does it say that uh, we will make something better or similar in the, in the Indonesian language? Help me, please, because I forgot my Indonesian. You know, I have a, I have a PhD, not PhD. I have PhD in Indonesian language. What is this? Right? Okay. So it says they are saying they confirm that the translation is kind of accurate that Allah will make something similar or better. That is stupid. Allah will make Quran better than the Quran of Allah. That in order for Allah to make Quran better than the Quran of Allah, that means there's better Allah than Allah. Imagine, guys, I say to you, uh, I am a maker, and I will make better make, make or like making than the, what I made already. I mean, isn't it the same equality? And we are talking about the Quran. Now we are talking about making uh, an engine. This is words, you know, just writing words. So how Allah will write words better than the words he wrote already? And why Allah will make something similar and yet he will cause us to forget? This is stupid. But the answer is very clear. We showed you the interpretation. Muhammad in the morning, he says something. In the opposite, he said, uh, in, the, in the afternoon, he said the opposite because he's a, mad, he's a madman. In the same time, if you go and you see the hadith, you will find uh, that Muhammad, he claimed that Allah gave him seven Quran. So I say to the Indonesian, where is the seven Quran? Allah gave Muhammad seven Quran. And he said, take the Quran from four. The Quran you have today is not taken from any of those four. Bingo. And not only that, the Quran you have today in your hand, the most popular Quran, which is Uthman, is not Uthman. There's no proof it's Uthman. The book of Uthman does not exist. This is recitation according to, according to, according to, according to, according to. We go all the way to Hafs, who is accused by Muslim to be a fraud, him and his father, stepfather, which is awesome. But if we go here, you will find Muhammad saying that Muhammad, he negotiated deal with Allah, saying to him that the Arab are stupid. But we are not. I'm an Arab. You know how smart I am. Hello. Uh, but look at this. Muhammad, he claimed that unless there is seven Qur'ans, nobody can understand the Qur'an and that he is speaking about the Arab. Is it a Christian prince saying that? No. Fufu, the prophet, saying that. Read carefully. 
read care and this is sahih so don't tell me this is weak I, we can show you from al-bukhari we can show you from muslim doesn't matter hmm? so don't tell me the game of sahih and weak and potato tomato it's a weak religion allah uh, jibreel he came to muhammad jibreel you know the pizza guy allah has commanded you he said to muhammad to recite to your people the quran in one day like one day like it means it's in a, in a in a different way which mean different words you know because they're like different you know people have different a different let us say language you know like uh there's many nations today they speak arabic but they are not arab like egyptian you know they have their own dialect but this is not really arabic it's mix of many languages so allah he commanded you to recite the uh, to your people the quran in one dialect upon this he said i ask from allah a burden of forgiveness please allah please please my people are not capable of doing it what what the heck what 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 guys does it say my people are not capable of doing it or i'm making things up does it say that does it say that what do you think my people are not capable of doing it doing what doing what exactly uh, because the quran about what is about learning about allah learning about islam right okay so with one quran muhammad saying not me that no muslim is capable of doing it which means to be a muslim so you bunch of fool you say to us our quran preserved where is the quran because you have to have one quran is not is not enough who is saying that muhammad do you see it and then jibreel the pizza guy jibreel like you coming back forward back forward you know and Allah spank him, Muhammad spank him, Musa spank him. Actually, once the angel of death, he went to Jibreel, uh, uh, Musa, he spank him in his eye, and he took his eye out. Unbelievable. True story. Then, Jibreel, he came back for a second time, and he said, Allah has commanded you that you should recite the Quran to your people in two dialect. Eh? Really? Really, really? Yeah, okay, hold on. I mean, what this is, Muhammad is correcting Allah. He corrected him first time. He said to him, they, are, they, don't, they cannot do it, Allah. Are you stupid or what? Second time, Muhammad, he said the same. Upon this, he, Muhammad said, again, I seek burden and forgiveness from Allah. My people are so stupid to do it. What the heck? This is what it means. My people are so stupid to do it. My people would not be able to do so. Why? Because it's one dialect. Okay, hold on. So those are Arab who speak Arabic, and their Arabic is perfect. They are Bedouin, you know, because you know, I mean, they are they are living in the desert. They don't mix with others, so their their Arabic is, uh, you know, way better than the the Arabic we know today. So why they cannot do it if the Arab at that time they cannot do it? second still they cannot do it okay and then Jibreel he came for the third time like what the heck I feel sorry for Jibreel how much gas he spent going backward forward backward and then he came for the third time and said Allah has commanded you to recite the Quran in three dialect which means are you happy Muhammad now no Muhammad is not happy upon this Muhammad he said I ask burden and forgiveness from Allah my people would not be able to do it what the heck you have three Quran now in different dialect yet yet Muhammad saying that Muslims are stupid they cannot do it three Quran is it me saying that no this is your book this is Sahih authentic and this is your translation then Jibreel he come to him for the first time <clears throat> fourth time sound like a joke what is this and he said Allah has commanded you to recite the Quran to your people 
Paul et c'est mon dialecte. <laughs> In different hadith, by the way, it says the, it says different. It says like he keep coming after that, which means many times, and then he ended. He became seven, and then he said to him, "That's enough." And then in which dialect they would recite it would be right and look how stupid the end is of, of the movie is as long in which dialect they recite would be fine so why he wanted seven do you see the donkey guys do you see how a donkey he proved that he is a certified donkey as long in which dialect will be would be fine so why the idiot muhammad keeps saying they cannot do it they cannot do it if one dialect is fine Read with me carefully. And in whichever dialect they would recite, they would be right. So Muhammad was a was a drunk or what? Because he's saying they cannot do it. They cannot do it. It's one dialect is enough. It doesn't matter. The same story saying that. It's like you know, like there's a movie. A guy, he, you know, uh, he, he want to, uh, to open the, the cave of Alibaba. Okay, guys, sit down, sit down. I will tell you the story about Alibaba and the 40 thief. That is Muhammad and the 40 thief companion. So Alibaba want to open the cave. And then the genie, he said to him, Alibaba, I want to give you a key for the cave. Alibaba said, okay, give me a key. He gave him a key. And then Alibaba, he said, you know what? One key will not be enough. I want two keys. The genie, he came again and he gave him second key. Alibaba, he said, no, 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 no. I want third key. The genie came back and gave him third key. Fourth key. Fifth key. Sixth key. Ten key. Twenty key. Twenty-five keys. Thirty keys. Thirty-five keys. Thirty-nine keys. And still Alibaba is not satisfied until they became forty keys. And then the genie, he said to him, you idiot, all those keys are the same. It doesn't matter which key you use, it opened the door. Do you see how stupid this story is? And here you need to ask yourself, do I learn you that one dialect is not enough? Muhammad is correcting Allah. Now, if we ask the Muhammadan, okay, where is the seven Quran, which Allah He gave to Muhammad? Hmm? Where we can find those seven Quran which Allah He gave to Muhammad? Uh, I, I will tell you where. I, I just found one. Hold on. My neighbor, he have he have a, a copy of the Quran which nobody have, because he have a goat. The verse of stoning and breastfeeding for adult, breastfeeding for adult, there's Quran about the breastfeeding for adult, yes, brother. It's a, Allah, Allah is very open-minded God. He wants the Muslim to give their nipples. Hmm. Walking down the street, looking for nipples, looking for nipples. The Muslim will record me now, and they will edit the video, and they will say, look what the Christian prince, he says to the Christians. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid idiots. The verse of a stoning and the breastfeeding for adult ten times, ten times. Breastfeeding for adult ten times. Are you sure? I mean, ten times it make a difference, does it? Ten? Why not eleven? Why? It is like a. Is that a nuclear coding or something? Why ten times is what Allah He like it to be? What about nine times? What about 99 time? Why 10 time? Why 10 time? There must be a secret behind 10 time. Look, if you do it 9 time, it doesn't it's not accepted by Allah. You have to do it 10 time in 10 different days until you are satisfied, which means you have to suck the nipples until you cannot take it no more. <laughs> and then you have to stop only when you are satisfied. This is God. I mean, isn't it obvious that this guy is making fun of you? Breastfeeding for adult. Okay, what happened to the breastfeeding for adult and the stoning to the death verse? Aisha is saying, the verse stoning to death and the breastfeeding for adult ten times was revealed. 
and the paper was under my pillow when the messenger of Allah died we were preoccupied with his death and time sheep came and ate it <laughs> what what happened okay hold on hold on many of you will not understand this story so I have to make it some somehow visual visual I have to use my skills you know you know I'm very skilled in art and etc so this is the bed of Muhammad and this is Muhammad in the top of the bed we will make him orange the orange will not be clear hold on uh, because I thought I will make him more pretty yeah actually there's a hadith says he became blue so this is Muhammad on the bed and he's dead all right then a goat she entered the bedroom of Muhammad meh meh big head goat big head uh, this is a goat I never saw a goat before like this anyway so this goat she jumped in the bed of the Prophet she's here now in the top of the Prophet brother and then she went to the pillow because remember the verses are under the pillow which mean here let us make an arrow so people who they are not understanding the situation which is very dangerous they will understand the the, the verses are here under the head of the prophet the goat peace upon her she walked all the way in the top of the prophet and she flipped the prophet and she make him fail in the floor because how she can get the papers without pushing him away from the pillow are you getting the point brother so she pushed him and Muhammad he fell down in the ground this is Muhammad now now the Muslim they will say it doesn't say that it doesn't say that okay hold on I don't care it says that the, 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 the verses was under the pillow and uh, in order for her the Miss, Miss Goat which I have to respect your respect because she is in one bed with the Prophet now as you see they are like family so in order for the goat to get the verses she have to flip the head of the prophet you have to face it look if we go back to the hadith what it says hey, read with me carefully where was the paper with me under my pillow guys does it say under my pillow or i'm making things up it says that right okay so the verses are under the pillow the goat ate what like ate the verses but where is the verses it is they are under the pillow so in order for the goat to eat the holy Quran she have to eat the holy prophet first or at least to lick uh, to push him uh, push his head his shoulders you know and then she will flip the pillow and she will eat the Quran this is what the Muslims are saying to us in the story but I don't know most of people but they do not notice it you know for me I turn it into a comedy because it's a comedy but the problem is some for some reason people don't see I mean we are reading the same story but people don't see how stupid it is you, you know what I mean but this is what happened because the the the, the Quran is under the pillow and who is sleeping in the pillow Muhammad this is the bedroom of Aisha Muhammad he died in the house of Aisha the last thing Muhammad he did before he died he asked Aisha for a container he grabbed his private part zzz, he pissed and he died he did not say Allah or anything no he, he, this guy he want to piss before he died for sure my painting is better than because so who's because so he used to used to be my driver you know I used to have like a big mule 
And uh, because so he, you know, and the reason actually I kicked him out because he kicked my mule. So when you say about Quran is preserved and the Quran, I mean, we, we die laughing. What? Your God, he could not even stop a goat. And now if we ask you, can you recite for us the breastfeeding for adult 10 times? Because I want to put it back in the Quran. And look how funny it is. They say that the verse of 10 times breastfeeding is abrogated. Okay, wait, but by what? By five times. Okay, where do we can find the five time breastfeeding? I mean, we cannot find the one is abrogated and we cannot find the one which abrogated the abrogated one. You know what I mean? Both are gone. What is the what is the verses here? Those verses are abrogated. Abrogated by recitation, but not by ruling. Look at this. Have you ever heard of a stupid religion more than this? Abrogated by recitation, but not by ruling. What is the wisdom behind this? So we are going to follow the law, but we will not write the law. I mean, what the sit, brother and sister. We are very intelligent and we are very we are very smart. So we made a law and then we destroyed the law, but we will follow the law. What the idiot this guy? You will follow the law, but you destroy the law. Why? Okay, how do you come follow it if you destroy it? And by the way, I noticed that some of you are printing my my art. Uh, and putting it in your wall, etc. Please don't do that because this is a, a copyrighted uh, art. Please, please. Uh, let me make a frame for it. You know, like for decoration. I know, I know that you guys you like. Uh, I mean, we have to face it. I mean, who can do this? Nobody. You have to be like a very talented. T talented. I mean, what what kind of English this English is? Yeah, talented. Hello. Who care? This is the first frame because Muhammad here in the situation of an egg. He's like an egg and the, and the goat sit in the top of him. Then the second frame will be Muhammad is in the situation. What situation? It's set away sin. Set away sin. In his funeral day. See, this is like a symbolic drawing. Very artistic. Let me add some uh, nice uh, <clears throat> art, which you guys don't appreciate. They don't even deserve. I don't know even why I'm drawing for you. You guys don't deserve my art. We have to make the, the this day beautiful for a prophet. Because branches will grow from the four corners of the earth. Because this is Prophet Day. He died. And as you see, they are sad. The branches. And because this branch is going to be upside down, so it's against the graffiti, so this is a miracle from Allah. And here, I'm not going to put a branch. I'm going to put a bird. A bird is coming to say, Assalamu alaikum, and he will squeeze the prophet three times. And he will fertilize him. What is this? Now, be honest with me. Have you ever seen a better teacher than than Christian Prince? <laughs> you know, the reason, by the way, <clears throat> uh, Dominique, thank you, Dominique. The reason, the reason for uh, for me doing this, because I try, I'm trying to make things simple for you. Islam is so stupid, but there is a problem. We, most of us, we don't notice really how stupid this cult. Maybe we read the same sentence, we read the same thing, you know, but we don't notice the same thing. So for me, I have I have a duty to make it easy for you to see the silliness and the stupidity of those stories. How embarrassing. And in the same time, how priceless they are. 
because those stories they expose the cult of Islam right so now let me take a snapshot about this art for later because we will change the page now <coughs> selfie smile Muhammad all right so now if we go back to the uh, response of Mr. Min Jawab speaking about many Bible my friend you just get yourself busted because the Bible is supposedly the book of Allah and if Allah allow you know if, if we ask you did Allah allow the Bible to be changed or it was against his will good question is it was it against his will or by his will if it's against his will that's mean Allah is a fufu if it is by his will that's mean Allah is the devil he is the one who changed it should choose one now we go to the second uh, statement he made uh, CP don't be foolish about the jinn Jesus often demonstrated his miracle healing his followers that are possessed by jinn read your Bible my friend I don't want to say the word idiot because I'm not I'm avoiding insulting you jinn in Islam are not a spirit they are a creature even they have sex with your wife they are not a spirit even they eat bones and meat and chicken even they have penis and vagina so you are very naive to mix between genie and demon demon or evil spirit genie or a creature they are creature they have a flesh they can have sex with your wife if I go right now and search in in, in a prophet Google peace upon him let me do that should, guys should I say search for that what do you think so should I search or no search Shall I search let me search let me search the, the, by the way the Muslim they make fun of my English they make fun of my English if my Arabic anything you know it doesn't matter because he's a Christian Prince we have to make fun of him we cannot refute him we cannot you know why didn't make fun of him okay make fun of me but that and I'm laughing at your prophet look at this <clears throat> this is what you Muslims believe I went to Google what's wrong with this what I what I'm getting here okay hold on oh boy Oh, 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 oh. sex and intimacy having sexual relationship with the jinn what you could you could you could you go and you get on your on your on your actually if you have my book sex and Allah you will see tons of stories jinn are not demon Jinn are creatures as Allah he described them in the Quran. They are created from fire, you idiot. They are not spirit. So uh, you have no idea what are you talking about? According to you, look at this picture. When a Muslim woman she is asleep, a male genie will come and he will do the following. What is that? I don't want to see those pictures, man. What is this? Let me go to the front. Uh, oh boy, it's getting more graphic here. What the heck is that? <coughs> Let us go to the front page. Uh, I'm searching for sex with the genie. I'm getting uh, porn websites. What is this? Okay. <clears throat> okay, look at this, brother. Brother, look at this. Guys, are you having fun? Who is here is not having fun, please? Tell me, please. Be honest. Do you like do you like to be in my in my program? If you if you are having fun, 
if you are having fun, what? Let me say something very smart. Okay, if you're having fun, put your hand up. How they can put hand up in the internet? Crazy. I mean, you see what reading the Quran do to you? Affect you, it affect you, it make you smarter. <laughs> can a jinn have sex with my wife? Sure, my brother, sure. <laughs> Actually, as we speak, she is doing it. Can a jinn have sex with my wife in this hadith authentic? When a man has intercourse with his wife and does not name Allah, the jinn calls around his yur, yur, yurthra and has in, intercourse with, uh, his, uh, with him? Like what? Like, are you serious? Uh, in the internet, you can, you know, okay. In the internet, there is an option to keep with your hand up. Unbelievable. Technology, brother, technology. By the way, we are the one who created the internet, the Arab. Yes, we're the Arab. The first uh, scientist who uh, has created the internet, his name is uh, uh, Abdul Rahim Window. The Rahim window is very famous, you know. Anyway, uh, so do, you know, do you see how naive they are? They do not know that genie are not a demon, those are really creatures, and they sleep with your wives always. There's a guy, uh, he, uh, he opened the door at his wife and he found his wife doing something. I'm not going to say what, but for sure, it's not to clean her nose, all right. So he told the sheikh, uh, uh, <clears throat> my wife, she is uh, like she is doing things when I open the door, you know. And the sheikh is not going, look, look, look how smart the sheikh. He did not say, obviously, your wife is horny, you idiot, and you are not doing your job. He's not saying to him, she is lonely and you are stupid. He said to him, brother, a brother, obviously, this, your wife is having intercourse with the genie. Like, what the heck? A genie? Yes, a brother. <laughs> Unbelievable. And look here. <coughs> Different hadith. I don't know if you can see, if you can read the whole thing. You can read it? I think you can read it, yeah. Al-Hakim al-Turmudhi Said in the wider blah 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 and says seventy reference okay tafsir okay when a man has intercourse with his wife and does not say the name of Allah the jinn calls around his yurtar yurtara yurtara I don't know how to say it and has intercourse along with him look 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 we have a threesome now we have what we have a threesome we have uh, you, you know, if you are a Muhammadan, your daddy, your mommy, and Mr. Satan, they are doing threesome. This is what the, this is what the story is saying. He, Shaitan, genie is a Shaitan, by the way, he will be doing your mommy with your daddy. Hmm. Hmm. But anyone notice how stupid this statement is? Anyone notice something very stupid here? Additional the stupid story itself. Look, think with me for a second. You know I'm not smart, and you guys are. You need to help me, please, because I'm slow. If you don't say what it says, if you don't say that prayer, shaitan, which is a genie. He round himself around the man penis, right? Correct? It says that, correct? Does it say that or no? Okay. So he put himself, let me let me uh, let me highlight it for you. When a man has intercourse, so what is the position now? Boom 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 boom. Intercourse. Take a note, brother. It, it's intercourse time, brother. With his wife, I'm so glad you say his wife, not his goat. And does not name Allah. So what is the problem? You don't name Allah. Okay. The jinn or shaitan, he call himself around his penis. And he do boom, boom with him. Uh-oh. 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 
Oh, 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 oh. Look how stupid Muhammad is. Because Muhammad himself, his father, is not a believer in Allah. And he did not say that a prayer. That means shaitan is the one who did the mother of Muhammad and make Muhammad the baby. Do you see how stupid Muhammad is? Do you notice what happened? Because if you don't say that, if you don't say the name of Allah, and the, actually there's a prayer, not only a name of Allah. That means you are the son of shaitan. Even there's a verse in the Quran, by the way, about this. You know? That he will share the shaitan, he will share with you your wealth and your uh, your, your children's. And the Muslim explained that in, the, in their interpretation. So, if this is the case, that means Muhammad himself is a son of shaitan. Because the father of Muhammad did not say that. Muhammad father in hell and his mother in hell according to Muhammad. Hmm. I wish I can draw this uh, story for you, but excuse me, it's so graphic, okay? I excuse me, hello? I mean, come on. I'm not going to draw this story for you to make you understand. Okay, but I will make you understand in a different way. All right. Let us say there is a tree. Tree. You know, tree, tree, normal tree. Tree is a growing here, tree. This is a tree. And this is a tree is a growing. A growing up, brother. All right. If this tree forgot to say the name of Allah, Satan will come and will round himself around the tree. I'm all always around you. What the heck? This is the tree, okay? This is not something you think, hello, it's a tree. <laughs> I don't know what to say. And in the funny, they say we want to prove you wrong. I mean, how even you believe in such a stupid cult, and even you have the courage even to say that you can debate us, or you can answer us. And how in the world any human being can believe in such a garbage? Are you there, Mr. Muslim Man Jawab? Is he is he in between the crowd or he, or he took a hike? Mr. Jawab. Is he here? The Indonesian guy? By the way, I'm not making fun of him. I feel sorry for him. Many of those, you know, the majority of those Indonesian, actually, maybe all of them, they have no idea what Islam is about. I truly love those Indonesian people. Uh, can you tell us about the story about Ishaq, about Paul, please? I mean, why you are changing my my topic now? Focus, focus. Try to be mature, please. Focus with me, my friend, with my respect to you. Because jumping from a place to place will not help us. I mean, don't you see we are focusing in answering this gentleman? What Paul have to do? I mean, I'm talking about penises. You want me to put Paul there? I mean, this is not even right. Let us finish Mr. Penis first. Muhammad and his religion. Uh, yeah, actually, there's tons of stories in the internet you can search. You will find tons of stories about uh, uh, about uh, Muslim women having sex with genie, or even Muslim men having sex with genie. And you know the funny, I am single. I mean, come on, what is those genie, uh, the female? Like, hello? I mean, what are you? They come only to Muslims? Only Muslims? This is not fair. 
<laughs> no problem, my friend, Lorian. But let us focus, my friend. Let us focus. When when we talk about topic, you know, we wanna we wanna be in one place, right? Actually, the Muslim they would love you to change the topic now because this is very embarrassing. You know what I mean, Dorian? Right? They wish that you would not talk about this. This is embarrassing. Look at this madness. This is alone is enough to prove that Muhammad is a fraud. Now, we can find in the internet tens of stories about those things. Right? And the Muslim, they believe in them. They believe in these stupid stories. They believe in even they spend money for those stories. Um, look at this. <clears throat> this is the answer. This is the answer. Sheikh al Islam, this is a big, 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 you know, okay, uh, Imam Al Jalal Al Suyuti. Say, the truth is, I love it when they say the truth is. This is the truth now. Uh, Lorian, are you there? My brother, this is the truth. I want you to open your eyes and look carefully. Is, is Lorian here? Are you there, my friend? I'm, I'm saying your name correctly. Excuse me, guys. I don't really, I don't know how to pronounce names. You know, English is not my first language. And I don't speak good Arabic, too. I just don't speak good uh, Indonesian. I don't know what language I speak. I have no idea. The truth is, this is the truth. It is possible for a human being and jinns to have inter. You have to stop here, please. This is the truth. It's proven, proven scientifically to be accurate. The truth. This is not like I'm guessing, maybe, maybe not. No, 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 no. This is the truth. Do we have any Muslim who want to tell us the truth? This is the truth. Okay. The, 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 it's possible. It's possible. It's not always happening, but it's possible. Okay. For a human being and jinn to have intercourse. Uh, <clears throat> and etc. He mentioned in Tafsir that this is the meaning of Iblis partner with their human being, wealth, and children. This is what I quote for you from the Quran five minutes ago. Chapter 17, verse number 64. All right? And then it says, narrated, when a man has intercourse with his wife and does not name Allah, etc., the story. Hmm. Hmm. It left taking a try, and now I get better understanding. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. I think now I became a believer. So, Mr. Genie is horny. And Mr. Genie, obviously, according to the story, he is not going to do it alone. He is going to wait for you until you are horny too. So now we have to horny. Okay, hold on. We have to make it an art. I will explain it to you uh, little by little. In a slow motion, if you allow me, please, if you allow me. So we have two individuals in the bedroom. Two individuals. The first individual is Mr. Genie. We will make him a red because he is Genie, made a fire. Hello. So he is horny. And this is how they write the word horny. Hor. And knee, because he is going to bend down in his knee. Knee. This is in my own English. Don't laugh at my English, please. Okay. Horny. Because he get like hor, hor, and he go in his knee. Not the normal like horny, like, you know, as you think. No, this is different from English. And then we have the husband is horny too. We will make him in blue. Uh, actually, we can make him velvet, uh, violet, violet, sorry. So, this is Abdul. 
He is Hur and me in the modern English. Now we have a female, she is a Muslim, she is Horni. You will make her, the color will be, the color will be, um, we cannot make it white because the, the white will not appear in the screen. Uh, we'll make her a green. Now she is really horny now. The real horny is here. Now this horny, uh, which is Shaitan, he cannot do it until the husband will do it. So this is the first horny. This is the second horny. And this is the female horny. But Shaitan horny, he cannot go to the female horny unless this guy he go to do his horny business. So Shaitan he will be waiting under the couch, waiting for the Abdul to forget to say Alhamdulillah or Alham uh, Allahumma jannibna wa jannib al-Shaytana ma razaktana. There's a prayer. He's saying to himself, I, will, I hope he will forget it. I will help you forget it. I will help you forget it. The guy now in the top of the bed, his wife is naked. He want to do it. And now he forgot it. And the shaitan like, yes, yes. And he around himself around the private part of the Abdul. You know, guys, do you remember uh, uh, Mimi? He don't say inshallah. Obviously, he don't do it too when he do boom, boom. So each time he do it to his wife, obviously Shaitan, he go around his private part. It's to the Prophet saying, not me. No? Huh? Man, this Muhammad is genius. Who can think about this? Look, this is like chemistry. Like CHO2, you know, uh, uh, oxygen, carbon, uh, you know, Cooper, you know, I mean, it's crazy. Look at this pH 4. You know, this is the this is uh, this is the real deal. It's like a mystery. Look at this. Look, you know, what is what we need just to put some numbers and that will make it really uh, very complicated. Now, any of you remember from previous videos of mine that genie Shaitan he had sex intercourse with the wives of Suleiman. Who remember that? Anyone remember? Who remember? Nobody remember? I'm really upset now. Nobody remember? Do you remember the story of Suleiman? When he lost his ring. Remember? Yeah, the same story. The Muslims, the Muhammadan, they believe even Suleiman, and he's a prophet supposedly for them, when he went to the bathroom, if you remember the story, he don't take the magical ring, Holy Buddha ring, with him. So he have to give it to his wife, and her name is Al Jarada. Then Shaitan genie he came to him he came to his wife in the shape of Suleiman look at this story and then he told her give me the ring his stupid wife she gave him the ring because he looked like Suleiman the brother and right away the shaitan became the king and then he kicked Suleiman out of the palace because they thought he is the fraud he looked like Suleiman but this is not the king the king is there and then the shaitan, he start doing boom, boom to the wives of Suleiman. Now, if there is a Muslim who want to say to me, I'm lying. Who want to say I'm lying. Uh, uh, to have to hurt. Uh, to, the Quran says it doesn't have to hurt. Ah. Well, I don't know. The Quran says, guys, 
The Muslim, they say that, uh, I said the Quran says that uh, human beings have two hearts. They say, no, the Quran doesn't say that. Okay. I don't know. You Muslims always, they, you ex 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 expose me. Right? <clears throat> the funny, you know, those Muhammadan, uh, they expose a Christian prince, but they are so sure they can expose him to the point they don't dare to call him and say, hey, I'm going to show you what you say. I mean, do you see how brave they are? Very brave. Now, we are waiting for them to expose us by calling me. Otherwise, talking to yourself, people are laughing. Now, here, in the front of us, and the story of Suleiman, they prove to us that Muhammad, not only he is insulting your mind and your brain, Muhammad is pissing over every brain of a believer because he is insulting prophethood, saying that Allah, he allowed shaitan to sleep with the wives of the prophet and in the same time he said that the good women for the good men and the good men for the good women so how a prophet of god she became a wife of shaitan any muslim Anyone? Hmm. Nobody? Let me see my Skype. Let this log in. Okay, it's logging in very slow. Let us try again. Exit Skype. Do it again. It's taking forever, like going in a circle. Yeah. All right. Let's try now. All right. Who is a Muslim is willing to call me? My Skype is open. Who is a brave Muslim is willing to call me? From those who want to refute us. Any Muslim? As long as you are, you know, you people, you can refute us, you can... Where is the brave one when I call me?
Hmm? Anyone? We can change the topic. I mean, no, no problem. Who is a brave Muslim on a call? Again, my Skype is open for the brave ones who want to call me and get me busted. Who want to do that? Mayday, mayday. Who want to do that? Nobody? Nobody know, nobody know, nobody know, nobody. Da -da -da. Oh. Let us see. Anyone? Nobody? Hmm. <clears throat> they are brave. For sure they can get me busted. But they don't dare to call me. Or maybe they are busy having uh, sexual intercourse with shit on. Anyone? All right, well, we always give you a chance to prove yourself, but obviously you cannot. You are brave, you must have speaking to yourself, debating yourself. And the funny, by the way, they say that Christian Prince, he hang up on you. I hang up on people only when they don't want to answer or change topic or say, uh, they start insulting. When I call you, you must tell you don't even give me a chance to talk to two second. How many times when we called Fifi Mimi, he hang up on me in less than five minutes, seven, eight time, and he, how many time he muted me? No, because he's a coward. Here, you know, uh, especially if it's somebody claim that he can, he have knowledge. I will never hang up on you. Especially if you are a person who is famous or claim your beard is long. Who want to do it? Anyone? Huh. <clears throat> <sighs> Any question? Any question?
Let us see. Somebody text me. Yes, don't text me. I want a Muslim. You know, we are looking for a Muslim. Anyone? <clears throat> hmm. Hmm. All right. Well, look like uh, you must times agree with us. All of you agree? I mean, not even one, he opposed what we said. No? This is embarrassing. This is very embarrassing. <clears throat> now, you know, like uh, Muslims, when they make videos, they try to refute me. Just to show you how stupidity they say. They say the Quran doesn't say that Allah he created two hearts in the body of a human being. You Muslims, you say that, you idiot. You claim that Allah he mentioned that Allah did not make two hearts in the body of a, a man. And you claim that Allah he meant that there's two hearts in the women. And what does that mean? That the women she have a baby and her heart. That's why he mentioned the word. <laughs> <laughs> a man you know obviously when a donkey he try to refute he do not understand even what we are talking about it's your claim this is your claim that the Quran claim that the man he don't have two hearts in his body but this is why he mentioned the man but he is he did not say the women because the women she have two hearts and one of them is the baby heart so the stupid, the fool who is trying to refute, he have no idea what he's talking about. Stupidity is amazing. Any Abdul? Do we have any Abdul? Hmm? Um, who gave? Patent, Muhammad, the last prophet. I don't know what you mean by patent. What patent mean? What patent mean? <clears throat> I'm not sure. Any Muslim or are we done? So look, we have almost 800 people listening. And you can imagine how many Muslims are here. Yet not even one of them here dare to call. Does chapter 2 verse number 34 confirm that Satan is an angel? Uh, Allah is a Satan and we can prove that easy. But we will go to the verse you are talking about. Verse number 34, we are in the Indonesian language. Let us go to English, hold on. All right. <clears throat> the verse here, it doesn't confirm really that the angels are shaitan. It confirmed that Allah is a stupid, which means Muhammad. Because, look, Allah he order all the cats to say meow except the dog he say how who is the stupid here and then Allah he get upset from shaitan for not bowing down to angel but he did not order the angel uh, shaitan to bow down he ordered the angels rip and we say to the angels bow down to Adam and be in the bow down not so Iblis so the verse here will make you think that Iblis or Satan and by the way here, why Muhammad is using the word Iblis? I mean, they say they claim that the Quran is the word of Allah. Uh, the word of Allah is in Arabic. I mean, go and search the word Iblis, where it's coming from. Why Muhammad using Iblis? 
You know where the word Iblis coming from, right? So how the word Iblis in the, in the Quran? Go right now and check where the word Iblis coming from. And then you will see in this verse, the claiming that, which make you believe that uh, uh, Shaitan or Satan is an angel, but no. Uh, if you read, uh, uh, if, if you connect the verses, because the Quran is like a, like somebody have some dirt in the table and somebody open turn on the fan so the dirt is all over the dirt is all over so there's no connection between the verses and that will make you confused but if you go to the front verse uh, you will see that shaitan he said uh, when Allah he asked him why you did not bow down to uh, Adam he said you created him from mud I, I you know, I'm created from fire All right, but look, you will find the story in chapter seven, verse number twelve. And what? Why is not in the same chapter in the same place? Because the Quran is like this garbage. So Allah He ask him the same story, chapter seven, verse number eleven and verse number twelve. This is an in Indonesian language. Uh, we, you know, we order the angels to bow down to Adam, except Shaitan he refused Iblis. And Allah he said to him, and why you refuse to bow down? He says, well, I'm better than him. You created me from fire and you created him from mud. But the story here confirms one thing. All right. That Muhammad is a stupid. Because if Allah, he have a problem with the angels, the angels is the one who accuse Allah that he will create wrong creation. It was the angels who said to him, are you going to create someone who will do mischievement in the earth? See here? The angels, they said that to him. Shaitan is not involved. He's, he's not even there. The angels said, Behold, the Lord said to the angels, I will create somebody to inherit the earth. They said, We'll do. They said, Who? The angels. So his problem was with the angels. So why he's ordering? Who's ordering who? He's ordering the angels to bow down. Except Shaitan, he did not bow down. But Shaitan should not be in the story. I mean, this is the most stupid story ever. <clears throat> That Khadr Provet Idris Provet here is having like uh, he says, is it true? Uh, no, this is not. There is nowhere it says uh, such a thing. No, the the Muslim they believe there's a guy. His name is Al Khadr. He is alive until now, and he attend the funeral of Noah. He attend the funeral of uh, uh, Ibrahim uh, or Abraham. The funeral of Muhammad. Uh, and he's alive because he drank from the fountain of youth like the parrot of the Caribbean I have a question can Iblis Satan kill a human uh, you know what according to Islam or according to Christianity according to Islam everything happened you name it depend on what school you believe in Mustafa, this is what you heard, yeah. But here, you know, you notice that the story is very, very, uh, very crazy. Why Muslims pray Al-Fatiha? Why Al-Fatiha is used in prayer of death as well? Uh, you know, Al-Fatiha is created by Muhammad uh, because he wanted a prayer the same as the Christian prayer, our Father out of heaven. Actually, if you open Al-Fatiha and you compare it to our Father Art of Heaven prayer, you will see it's very similar. You know, very similar. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. In the name of Allah. Ar-Rahman. Ar-Rahim. If you ask anyone who is Aramaic, Anyone who are Aramic, they will say to you that Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim, this is what they are, Rahman, Ar-Rahimu. 
go and ask uh, Sam Shamoon, he speaks Aramaic. So, uh, this is Aramaic language, they say it in the prayer. And notice, Al Fatiha is not the first thing Muhammad received in the Quran. The first time Muhammad he used the word Ar Rahman, it was way after. Let me show you. <clears throat> when uh, when the, the the people they ask Muhammad who is Ar Rahman? Who is this guy Ar Rahman? Suddenly he starts saying Ar Rahman. Muhammad never said Ar Rahman before. Why this name was hiding from Muhammad all this time? Shouldn't from the beginning Allah he says, I am Ar Rahman, I am Ar Rahim. Look what it says. Chapter 17, verse 110 say, Call upon Allah or call upon Rahman by whatever name you call upon him, for him belong the most beautiful names. You see? Okay. Here, this verse proved to us that before that date, Muhammad he never mentioned the word Rahman. Actually, you can go and open the interpretation and you will see. This is why they were asking him, who is a Rahman? And not only that, they said to him, the only Rahman we knew is a guy, his name is Rahman al Yamama, a person who claimed to be a prophet too. Muhammad is a fraud, the other guy is a fraud, and they are in competition. There was many prophets in that time, but it's a business. So, why Allah did not reveal, like if we go right now and check in the book of Asbab al sorry, uh, the book of, uh, uh, like, uh, you know, the list of revelation. If you go right now, Quran according to revelation. And then, you know, maybe many people do not know that the Quran is exist today between the hands of Muslims have nothing to do with the Quran which is supposed to be given to Muhammad. According to the majority of Muslims, the first chapter Muhammad received, it's what today is number 96. Imagine, number 96, it was number one. The Muslim, they change and they switch the location of the verses. All right? Now, if we ask ourselves, chapter 17 in the Quran today, what is the real number for it? 50. Do you believe it? The real number for it, which means Muhammad, he received 50 chapters before he received this verse. Before he said the word Ar Rahman. Then the question will be how this is appear suddenly? The answer is very simple. If you go and read what is behind the verse, you will see that a guy, his name is Rahman al Yamama, he sent him a letter to Muhammad. Muhammad, he answered him back using his name, in the name of Ar Rahman. The people, they say to Muhammad, who is Ar Rahman? Chapter 17, verse 110. Let us go and see the interpretation. Uh, <clears throat> let us see the book of Asbab and Nuzul, the reason for the verse to come down. This is what the verse, uh, the name of the book mean. All right. One night in Mecca, the Messenger of Allah, uh, give him please, blah, 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 stood up for night uh, prayer and he keeps saying in his prostration Ar Rahman O Ar Rahman O Ar Rahim the idolaters said Muhammad used to call unto Allah and now he is calling to gods 
Do you see it? What does that confirm to us? That they never heard him before saying Ar-Rahman, saying Ar-Rahim. Never before. Never. And look what they said. They said, we do not know anyone by the name of Ar-Rahman except Ar-Rahman of al yamama Meaning, Musaylama the liar. So Muhammad, he stole the name from Musaylama. And the Muslim called him a liar to insult him. It's obvious. <laughs> Look at here. After he said the word Ar-Rahman, the Arab, they said to him, uh, in the name of Allah, after he said, in the name of Allah, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim, the Arab idolaters, then commented, we know the merciful, but who is the uh, who is this Ar-Rahman? <laughs> so why Allah waited for 50 chapters to say to Muhammad, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim? Right, a book, a book of Al Kash. Uh, can you can you type the name in Arabic? I don't understand what you are saying, Mister uh, Lorin. I don't understand what you are saying. Link. Here we go. And you know why when I keep talking about Paul? I mean, we answer it many times. And there is, a, by the way, there's tons of links and tons of books, not only those books. There is many, many books in Islamic books saying that Paul is a prophet of God and a messenger of God. This is how Muhammad, you know, exposed himself. You know, if this name is important for Allah, and after that, Muhammad, he keeps saying, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim, that's it. I mean, from zero mentioning the word Rahman to never again without it. I will give you an example. When a Jewish woman, she came to Muhammad, wife, and she told, she told her about the, 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 the torture of the grave. Why you don't go through very? I don't go. I go. I don't go through any Muslim videos in my live channel because they will flag me for copyright. But I make videos sometimes and I post them in different channel. This is why I post them in different channel. But if he is brave enough, anyone without mentioning this uh, puppy name because he's a puppy, anyone who don't dare to call me, you know. Look, if you are a person, you are sure that you can get me busted. You will get me busted in two second. Call me. Either people laugh at you or laugh at me. So obviously they are very much, you know, intimidated. They are scared like hell. Otherwise they can do it right now. The one who can do it in a video alone, he can do it now. His excuse, uh, I hang up on, on people. I made a promise I will never hang up on you. Even if we speak for coming 10 hours. I promise in the front. Actually, you know what? If I hang up on you, that's mean I lost my argument with you. You are the winner. But he still, he will not do it. He's a coward. He is literally a potato. All of them. And the funny, they say, I hang up on them. They are the one who hang up on me. When this funny Fufu Mimi Hijab, he said he want to debate Christian Prince. Did he debate me? Where's the debate? They muted me more than seven, eight times, and they hang up on me more than seven times. Hang up on him. Put him now. Mute him. Like a bear. They did not let me talk. So the coward, they are the one who do it. And then they go and see Christian Prince, he hang up on this, he hang up on that, and they edit my videos. They listen, pause the whole video. Pause the whole video so people, they can see how I hang up on people. They don't want to talk about the topic. Then I hang up on them. 
They keep jumping like monkeys. I'm not going to waste my time. So they use all kind of excuses to run away. So please don't mention the names of those people. They are so little. If they are brave enough, I mean, what you will lose, it's a Skype. Let us say for the sake of argument, you call and I hang up on you. That will be used against me. Correct, guys? If this is really what I would do to him, well, good for you. That will say, see, Christian Prince, he ran away from me. Is that correct? Don't, don't, don't you think this is what will happen? So if this is really what I will do, you should do it then. Because that will save you from all the hassle. You call a Christian prince. Christian prince is afraid of you. He will hang up on you. You are the winner. But you don't dare. They are kids. They are a bunch of kids. They grow a goat, a beard like a goat. You know? But this beard full of lies. And they're the same as their prophet. Look, even their prophet is full of lies. No, ZP. The prophet was not full of lies. Those are goats. No, it's lies. And your, you know, uh, your, your, your Muslim women, they used to pick up the lies from his head. Hmm? Do you want me to show you the hadith so you can say no to me? Anyway, please don't mention the names of those people. If they are brave, let them, we are here. We are here every day. And more than once, sometimes twice, sometimes three times, unless my internet is bad. If they are brave, they are welcome. My Skype is open. Here we go. My Skype right now is open. Where are they? Why this Skype is mute? Why it's silence? Hmm? There's no reason. I said I'm willing to call you too. Okay, maybe you are big. You know, you don't want to call me. You are a potato. You are no one. The same as Mimi Hijab. I am, I am the one who did call him. What he did, he hung up on me. He did not let me talk. And not only that, the coward, they put the computer far away from the microphone, which means even when I talk, nobody can hear me. And the coward, not only that, they do editing to my videos. They don't want people to hear the whole story. That's what they can do. They are a bunch of kids. They are pretty much intimidated. They are terrified. How come they, this uh, Fifi, the child from the people of Lut, with the, with the Lut uh, people voice, he dare to debate in Skype apostate prophet? Why don't do it the same with me? And, you know, you can uh, go live from your channel. Nobody can hang up on you. Because if I hang up on you, you are live still. The same as I did with Mimi Hijab. He thought the idiot, if he hang up on me, it's over. No, people will see because I am live in my channel. <laughs> you can go live on your channel. And we will go all over the things you have an objection for it. And, you know, I made a challenge. It's called 100 Spank. Every, every one I prove him wrong, I will, I will spank him live on air. How I will do it? You know, I will say, give me your, uh, you know, your neck. <laughs> You have to admit, one by one, we're starting from number one, we end in number one, whatever. And we can stay for 10 hours. If he is tired, no problem. We can say we will do it uh, uh, each time you call one hour, two hours. It's up to you. So my friend, our Skype is always open to the brave ones, and all of them, they are a bunch of cowards. I respect actually those who call. Like there's a guy actually, he keep uh, going after me. He wanna call me. This guy from Nigeria. This guy is mentally ill. You know, I, uh, you know, I don't talk to him because he's stupid. He called me CP. Did you say that Jesus he has things with Mary? You know, stupid people. No, we don't go down to this level. But if you are a person who respect yourself, you know, and you are willing to discuss a topic. Yeah. Our Skype is open and we welcome the one with long beard before the one who have no beard because they claim that I'm tricking Muslims and making them leave Islam. So why don't call the one who trick Muslims, making Muslims leave Islam and get him busted? Making videos by yourself, speaking to yourself, winning an argument by yourself, 
will make people laugh at you. And everybody knows that a Muslim, it doesn't matter what, who are you, as long as you are saying something negative about Muhammad, they will say you're a liar. I mean, it's not a surprising. Uh, are you expecting really Muslim to say he's not lying? Anyone is expecting Muslims to say that Christian Prince is not lying? No way. But look, Muhammad, he said that Islam is based on lies. And a Muslim, he can lie in three cases. One of them is in war. The other one is with your wife. And Islam is in war with the Christians. So you are allowed to lie in Islam. And the funny, they accuse us to be liars. But they are the one who promote lying. The Prophet said it's not lawful to lie except in three cases. Something the man tell his wife. So Mr. Fifi and Mimi, when they speak to their wives, they are commanded that lie for you to your wife is lawful. It's not a sin. Do you see it? This is not me. So if you are a person who cannot be even truthful inside your family, how you can be truthful with us? Who is going to believe you? If you are following a prophet who is saying to you, you can like your wife, that is the devil. Why in the world a human being will lie to his wife? Unless he is guilty. You know what I mean? Because we lie always when we feel guilty. We, we have something wrong, right? We, we don't want to tell. Something bad. So when Muhammad he says it's lawful, look, it's not lawful to lie except in three cases. The first one, destroying the family of a human being. Now, every human being, every Muslim who have a family, he enjoy lying to his wife 24 hours, 7 days a week. He don't feel guilty. That is the ethic of Muhammad. Secondly, you can lie during war. The Muslims, they believe they are in war with the Christians. The Quran commands the Muslims to fight and kill the Christians, not only to debate them and answer them. Actually, this is a kind of debate, and it's funny. In Islam, there is no such a thing. When the Christians, they came to debate Muhammad, he said to them, bring your female uh, wife and bring my wives, bring your kids, I bring my kids, and let us uh, ask Allah to curse the one who's lying. Because he's a liar. There's no debate. Those potatoes, you know, they are saying they want to make videos for me. If I am living in Islamic State, they will kill me in two seconds. But because they are potatoes today, they cannot do anything about it. If they are real Muslims, really, you know, the real Muslims are ISIS. The one who do jihad, those are the ones that will give you the truth about Islam. The rest, those people are Sufi. Those, all of them, they are Sufi. They are not Muslims. The true Muslims is the one who practice what Muhammad he did. Those they don't. You know, look. Uh, according to Islam, you cannot live between the kuffar. You cannot pay tax. You cannot obey non-Islamic government. What those people they do? They live in the land of the Christians. They pay tax if they work. And they call the police of the kuffar if they need it. And not only that, when they take the passport, they take an oath in the court that they want to be a citizen obeying the law of non-Islam. They are fake. A true Muslim, he will not do that. Even Muhammad, he says, the one who lived between the kuffar for, you know, for a period of time, he is one of them. Actually, the Quran says it clearly that the one who take non-Muslims as a friend, he is one of them. He is one of them. Chapter 5, verse number 51, specifically the Christians and the Jews. All of those people, they work, you know, they live between the Christians, they, you know, they go out and they claim they have a friends, but look what the Quran is saying. Oh, who you believe take not the Jews and the Christians as your friends, friends and protectors. They are only friends to each other. And so 
A Muslim, he cannot accept the police of England to be his protector, the government of England to be his protector, for they are kuffar. They screw at me. So they protect only each other and they are friend to each other. And he amongst you who turn to them, which means he take them as a protector or a friend, he is one of them. Do you see it? So those are not even Muslims. According to Islam, they are going to go to hell. The second you take the kuffar as protectors, you carry their passport, you pay their tax, you call their police, you go through their airport, you obey the law of the kuffar, you are one of them. And the Quran in front of you. Right? A Muslim wife, she can lie to her husband. You see, Muhammad, he, he, he gave the superior in lying to Muslim, to Muslim men. I have, I don't remember anywhere, Muhammad, he said the Muslim women. I think there's a hadith, hold on. Yeah, I think there's a hadith, I forgot it. Uh, but I did not. Let me see. This is something uh, I did not read for long. But as I remember, Muhammad, he is giving permission to the man to lie. But I think there is something, as I remember, about women lying to. Um, Yeah, I need to research that. But uh, as I know, it's just uh, you know for for the man. But there is an option, I think, a woman where she can lie to. But generally speaking, it is the man lying to his wife because you know Islam is a man-made religion made by the man for the man, right? Now, for sure, the Muslim they will say to you, the lying here is not bad. Because what if your wife, she's ugly, and she asks you, am I beautiful? What you will say, uh, you're ugly? You say the truth? Huh? That's stupid, you know, logic. Because if your wife, if you see your wife ugly, why you marry her? If she is ugly, if you see her ugly, because, you know, it is what we see, which means it's not how she is. Because... You will see a man who is very good looking, a woman she is not, but because he loves her, he see her so beautiful for him. Right? The same for the woman or the man, vice versa. So it's about what you see. So if if this woman is not good looking for you, why you marry her? What kind of relationship will be because if she is ugly and you are marrying her and staying with her, that's mean you're you're an idiot. I mean, what is this? You see her ugly. That means you hate her. You see, the word ugly is about hate. If you hate somebody, you see him ugly. As simple as that. If you love somebody, you see him the most beautiful or you see her the most beautiful person. Do we agree? Do we agree? No, nobody is calling. That's a big fat lie. My, my hold on. Uh, no. Uh, this is not. Uh, this is not very. This is in. This is a kid. Yeah, this is the same kid we talked to him last time. I'm calling him. The one we get him busted about line number one. Hello, this is Ranjit Gupta. I'm calling from Amatola Services, and I would like to help you with any. Stupid. Playing a recording. You see how there are kids? Kids like Aisha. 
We thought it's a man. It turned to be a kid. Let us see. I got excited when you said to me, this is Fufu. I said, is it possible that he became a man? So I decided to call him back because I saw a missing call. Nobody. Any brave one? So uh, anyway, we go back to our topic. Muhammad is a very evil man. He is making Muslims hate the Christians. They cannot take you as a friend. Yet when they speak, actually this guy in his video, he called me Habibi. <laughs> Habibi. In love, he is in love with me. Yeah, Habibi. The Quran forbid you from saying such a word. Not only it's you know not for you to say that, but I mean you're a man speaking to a man while you are saying that. You will say in Arabic, some people they say that, okay, no problem. But I am a Christian. And how you say Habibi, my love? That's stupid of you. In the Quran it says you cannot even be good to non-Muslims. They will say to you, there is a verse, this is abrogated. You will not find a believer, true believer, who is making good relationship with the non-believers. You will not find one. Chapter 58, verse number 22. Though will not find any people who believe in Allah and the last day, loving those who resist Allah and his messenger. Do you see it? So this potato, he called me Habibi. <laughs> there is only one of two things. Either he don't mean it, which means he's a liar, or he mean it, which means he's out of his name. Which one? Or from the people of Lut, the city of uh, Gomorrah. You will not find the one who is loving to those who resist Allah. Do you see it? Even though they are their own father and their sons, so even if you're a family, imagine. So what about me? I'm not your family. This is Quran. They will say, no, it doesn't say that. Right? Anyway, our Skype always, you know, like 90% of the time we go live on air, uh, we know we have our Skype open. And look, the Skype is a mute. We have 780 people listening. Not one Muhammadan dare to call. That is telling us the whole story. Do they dare themselves to do the same? Those who claim to be sheikhs, if they are confident of their religion, why they don't have their Skype open? So I can cover call. I tried to call the Dean show, they did not let me go through. Go and see it, it's on YouTube. I call first time, second time, third time. They don't dare to do it. You know, you have to be really brave to open your Skype to, for any Muslim to call. Because this is a big challenge. You don't know what they will say to you, right? You do not know what what they are going to. Maybe maybe they will put you in the corner. Maybe they will say something. You have no answer for it. This is a, this is a big deal challenge. Not everybody can do it. And this is why those potatoes they don't dare to do it. They don't. Did uh, Jesus promise one hundred wife in Matthew? You know, uh, New Bahar, Akhtar. Are you a Muslim, my friend? Are you a Muslim yourself? No Bahar? Give me the answer, please. Are you a Muslim? Because, you see, Muslims always, they come with very serious, stupid thing. I never saw anyone who says stupid things, silly stuff as they do. When we we uh, we read the Quran for them, we open their interpretation, we read their translation, we don't make things up.
The verse there doesn't say he will give you a human in the heaven, you idiot liar. It says that your reward will be 100 times double of what you lost. You lost your family. You lost your house. You lost your sister, your brother, your, your, your father, your mother, your sons. There's nowhere actually in the whole list there is a wife. So why are you being stupid? Does it say there in the list that he lost his wife? All in the list is houses, brothers, sisters, fathers and mothers, or daughters, or sons. So why you lie? <laughs> this is how they are. It's a scam. You know, they, they, are, they are people of a scamming. They fabricate lies and they make things up. What is there? It says this is will give you 100 women. Okay, this is an argument of a Muslim. But you know, don't you know how to answer it, my friend? This is an argument of a Muslim. You should say, by the way, so we will not be thinking that you are a Muslim. Say, a Muslim, he said that to me. Okay, before you mention the question, say, a Muslim, he said that to me. So we will not misquote you. But my friend, the answer is simple. Go to the verse, read it. Do you see there where it says, he will give you 100 wives? You lost your parents, you lost your sisters, you lost your brother, you lost your houses, you lost your money. You lost your field, you lost your, you know. God will reward you 100 times of what you lost. Which means your life in heaven is nowhere to compare. Nothing to do about virgins and, you know, this is stupid. Like once a Muslim, he said to me, Jesus said that the one who drink my water, he will never go thirsty. Okay, and he said this is about Jesus, he will piss. Yeah, they are silly, stupid. Silly. Yesterday, we showed you the hadith where Muhammad was making water. Do you remember? Who remember the hadith about Muhammad making water? <coughs> Jesus make from the water uh, wine. Muhammad, he make water in the street. He piss in the street. And the Muslim, they translate pissing in the street as making water. Have you ever heard of somebody making water before? How somebody can make water? He was pissing. <clears throat> Anyone remember the hadith? Pause the link if you have it. Here, yeah, it's in front of you. A person happened to pass by the Messenger of Allah when he was making water. The Prophet was making water as I know in Arabic, it says he was pissing. <laughs> it's pissing. Look how they, how even, how, 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 how they are ashamed. This is mean they are ashamed. They took the word he is pissing and they replaced with making water. How you can make water? What making water mean? Have you ever heard of somebody making water? I mean, have you ever heard of this term before? Making water? What is that, a miracle? The guy was pissing in the street. Look how savage he is. A guy, he went by, he said, Assalamu alaikum, pissing guy, Muhammad. The one who pissed in the street. Hmm? And just to show you, as, as long as we are talking about this, look at this filthy Muhammad. Look at this. Muhammad, he takes shower with dead dogs and flesh and blood of women from period. Read it. Do you see it? Bi'ru bidu'a A person, he takes shower with dead dogs. You know, the, the problem, I don't have an Arabic keyboard. So I'm using like, you know, I have those uh, things you add in the stickers. And sometimes, there's words you want to type, they don't come right. Hold on because they didn't have an options let me see and i need to replace those stickers too they are all over the place coming out all right uh, 
<clears throat> Look at this. I heard the people ask of the people of uh, uh, Prophet of Allah, water brought to you from the way of Bada. It doesn't say brought to you. It says yustaqalaka. You drink from it. He, he drink from it. Yustaqa. Read it carefully. Here we go. Anyone who speaks Arabic, he will see it. No, Zibi. It doesn't say that. Yustaqa. He drink from the water. So they bring him a water which he drink and he wash with from the will of Bida'a. Bida'a I mean the garbage, the you know, where everybody throw whatever he want. It's a will which do, dead dogs and ministerial clothes experiment uh, 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 of, of, of people are thrown in. Garbage. Women of blood. Diapers. Dead dogs. Do you see it? The messenger of Allah, he answered. They were wondering, like, uh, how you drink from it? How you wash with it? The messenger of Allah said, Verily, verily, water is pure and nothing defiled by anything. Look at this donkey. Who is a Muslim from those cowards dare to do? Bring some dogs, put them in the shower top. His woman of blood from period. And garbage and he jumped there and he do shower I want to see that in there in a huh? and yet they, they say that the Prophet they ask uh, this guy what his name Jean-Claude Van Damme he was in uh, Dubai making a video you know uh, the producer is an Arab and you know they knew that those people worship Muhammad so the I think you know he, they, they told him to say that. So they said to him, "How you how you keep your shape like in this age? You know, like your physique." He said, uh, "As an example, look at the Prophet Muhammad. <laughs> look at the Prophet Muhammad. <laughs> Jean Claude Van Damme. You take a shower with dead dogs, or with the best expensive shampoo and the most expensive perfume." This is Muhammad, full of lies and fleas. What kind of a prophet this prophet is? Imagine you, you have a prophet, you want to follow him, and he's taking shower with dead dogs and women of blood from period and garbage. And not only that, in different hadith says, and, it, the, and the water stink and nothing. And nothing. Look, here we go, read with me. Here they translate the word and nothing as a garbage. But doesn't say garbage. It says anatin, which means the stinky. In Arabic here it says anatin. Stinky, not garbage. So I walk by and the Prophet he is performing would do his washing. From the will of Buddha, I said, which means he's surprised, are you? Are you performing would do? from it when garbage is a thrown in it again it doesn't say garbage it says nothing stinky the stink he and uh, is, is a thrown in it he said water is not made impure by anything look at this water is not made. that means the sewage is uh, is a pure because sewage is, is water actually you as a human if we you know like when you die they can burn you and what will lift of you if a few grams maybe 500 a gram of uh, dust right ashes all of you is water all of our body is water so if water nothing make it impure that means the sewage is, is, is good pissing is good because what uh, pissing is water maybe 99 percent is water And as you see, people they are wondering why he's doing this. This guy is crazy. That's why I'm saying to you, Muhammad is obviously is a mentally ill. And yet Muhammad he claimed that the water nothing make it unclean. And then they will say to me, he's lying. The Prophet did not take a sour with dead dogs. No, he's lying. 
How can someone be become kafir if he never was, ever was, revealed to them to make logic to me? <clears throat> First of all, uh, the Muslims, they are kafir too. You see, Muslims are stupid when they speak about the religion. They don't know their religion. They don't know their religion. I will give you an example. They call us kuffar. They call us kuffar. But the Quran called the Muslims kuffar too. Let us go to the Quran. Just to show you stupidity of those people. Muslims are kuffar. <clears throat> Let us find some verses. <clears throat> Uh, let us see what verses we will uh, anyway. let us take this one for as an example فَمَنْ يَكْفِرُ بِالطَّاغُوتِ وَيُؤْمِنُ بِاللَّهِ Okay, those who became kuffar and believe in Allah, that's what the verse is saying. Those who became kuffar huh? against the shaitan and believe in Allah, they are the believers. So, kuffar is a stupid of them to use it against us. Because Allah promising that those who became kuffar to go to heaven. So kuffar is not about, uh, uh, you know, being in a side of the wrong or the bad. It can be both. But yet those idiots, they keep calling us kuffar. I just give you an example, chapter two, verse number two fifty-six. You know, but they don't know. Share the link. Okay, here we go. And by the way, this uh, this uh, verse here, uh, the majority of Muslim they believe it's abrogated because supposedly. Um, he came with the chapter of the sword, like kill anyone who don't believe. Uh, however, here, uh, most likely the verse was about uh, the Jews, they don't want, they are forcing their children not to convert to Islam. So Muhammad says, you cannot force. This is not about Muslim cannot force you, because Muhammad said it clear, I've been ordered, commanded to kill anyone who don't believe in Allah. So as you see here, you see, that the word kuffar can be for Muslims too. Correct? But they call us kuffar. And by the way, the word kuffar is not Arabic. Additional stupidity of Muhammad. You know, the origin of the word uh, uh, kuffar, uh, it's used in a, in a, in a, in a, like a vast uh, distance of land all the way by the Aramaic all the way to the Egyptian and kafir is like you know something is unseen something is uh, cover you know like something this is why like small villages which is far in the middle of nowhere they call it kafir because it's in the middle of nowhere nobody knows where it is unknown let us say unseen covered up right <coughs> Anyway, I think we have enough for today, and until now, not even a single, I see people asking me to add them, I don't know why, I mean, don't add me, my friend, why I will add you on Skype, you know, I'm making Skype for people to call, look how many add. Each time I open my Skype, I find like a thousand people want to add me.
<clears throat> anyway, did we have a good time, guys? Don't forget, please, to download the video. And if the video is long, you can, like, cut it off. And, like, where we stop finishing the topic of the goat answering this person because we spoke about many things after that. So if you think that this video is uh, too long and you want to translate it to your own language, you can stop where uh, we finish with answering Mr. Well, his name, Min Jawab, from Indonesia. And you can make the other video, I mean, two, two videos if you want. Right? But obviously, all Muslims, they can defend Islam. As long they are speaking to themselves or speaking to somebody, they do not know Islam. The second you are a person who knows them, they can refute you by their talking to themselves. But yet nobody would dare to call us. And the funny, most of the time, the only one who dare to call us is the crazy one. You know? And by the way, the smart Muslim, the smart one, uh, who is playing deception, is the one who don't call. Because he knew what will happen if he call. You know, trust me, if those people knew they can be victorious by calling me, they will not only call me, they will call me every second. Correct? Not only they will call me, the line here will never be silence. Having this Skype silence it's a clear proof how much they are scared and how many times i open my skype thousands of times live on air recorded whatever we say it's live on air people they download and share live on air big change nothing is hiding nothing is hiding and because they knew they are following a false cult they knew they are no match to refute the truth not me i'm no one here we are debating about the truth not about christian press they try to make it personal because they are you know savage but they cannot debate the truth they cannot face you like you know in the middle east they say if you wanna uh, if you wanna humiliate a gentleman uh, make a child or a hooker go after him. A child, you go in the street, he throw rocks at you. What you can do about it? He humiliate you. You know what I mean? A child. But the father of the child, he don't dare to get close to you. So what they do? They send children or they send the bad women. Bad women, she will go in the street. This guy, he touched me. This guy, he did that. This is the only two ways for those filthy people to try to humiliate you and this is exactly what they did they brought a, vi a recording of me debating a muslim I'm reading for her the hadith about her prophet saying suckle me they cut the video they say christian prince saying to a muslim woman suckle me here we go so they brought a filthy woman recorded in public not in, we are not in private in front of hundreds and thousands of people listening and they use that to make me look bad. This is exactly what they do. That one did not work because we got them busted. We have the whole recording. People, they start laughing at them. It's disgusting. It's stupid. You being, you, you being get busted. Then they cannot debate me. So they have a bunch of kids making videos, attacking me. Attack me as much as you wish. We are waiting for your daddy to call. We want your daddy. Where is your daddy? Is your daddy one day is going to man up and come and call us? That is a big question. So I want to say thank you guys for being here. It's getting really late here. Thank you. May the Lord bless, uh, bless you all. Yeah. And the prophet, he says, suckle me. So we ask the women, can you suckle people? What a filthy prophet. Thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you. Please don't forget to download the video. We will not keep them in our channel as usual. Uh, we always do cleaning from time to time, sometime in the same day, uh, depend in the situation. So, but we want you to download the videos. And I challenge the Muslim to download my videos and share them in their channels and make fun of me. Because this is how we get Islam busted. They think they are attacking me, but the fact they bring me more Muslims to listen and to watch. You see, what is short 
how we can reach to Muslims by Muslims the best way to reach the Muslims by Muslims I wish actually the the, the the biggest mullah of Iran he will hold my book in his hand he will say Christian Prince we want to kill him I wish honestly that is my day they are our helpers you see Salman Rushdie he made a book which is not really a big deal it doesn't have too much information it's called satanic verses nobody is buying the book actually it's not a big deal nobody heard of it suddenly people woke up in the morning and they found the three four millions in the street in Tehran Allahu Akbar death to Salman Rushdie Allah and then everybody in the world will read this book and then Salman Rushdie became a lord the queen she made him a lord <laughs> So nobody read this book. Nobody. They they are our helpers. And nobody is reading his book not because his book is bad. No, but because people don't know. You know, I mean so how how people will get attention? The Muslims is the one who can help us. So for me, it's very important actually that Muslims they will attack me as much as they can. We want them to do that. This is for our benefit. That's me. We are hitting the nerve. We are causing pain in the devil body and they are coming out of Islam. The pain is coming. And the pain is not because we hate them. We don't hate Muslims. We want to save them. But always, you know, there is a process. It's painful to say to somebody, your prophet is a fraud and you show him the fraud. In the beginning, he will scream. He will call your names. He will insult you, but then he will leave Islam. And this is exactly what we go through always. Most of people who left Islam listening to me, in the beginning they call me all kind of names. All kind of names, you cannot imagine. Actually there was a guy, uh, his name, uh, I think they call him Dr. Tariq, something, he's, he's, the, he's a doctor. Three years, guys, three years, he opened a chat room in a program called Pal Talk. The, the title of the room was like a Christian Prince, Lies, Liar, or Refuting. I mean, he changed the title, but it's about just about me. The whole room is about me. And all day long, he do nothing except supposedly to refute me. After three years, he come to my chat room. And he said in the text, This guy, everything he is saying is true. I am out of Islam. We thought maybe somebody using a name like him, you know, because he's very well known. He hate me very much so I did not give attention then he repeat again CP you are right I agree I, I apologize for you know speaking against you for three years and then people they said to me give him the mic I said maybe this is not him I don't think this is him they said give him the microphone let us hear him from his voice we wouldn't know if it is him or not it's a chat room you can give the microphone so I gave him the microphone it was him three years every day he have nothing to do except supposedly refuting me every day he come from work as a doctor he come from work he open a chat room and he go over my videos one by one christian prince he said this christian prince he said that he's a liar and muslims they really love him and then he decided to leave islam and he right away became the devil the muslim accused me that i paid him money the Muslims accuse him that, you know, I gave him a job. Uh, they accuse him that I gave him a car. I give him a car. Guys, honest to God, if you see, if I if I open a camera for you now, I have my TV in a stand, you will not believe. Maybe I should, uh, should I take a picture posted in YouTube, in, uh, in Patreon? What do you think? I don't know, this is nice. <laughs> Actually, I should do that. I gave him a car. Let me take a picture. Okay. I will post it in uh, in Patreon. I don't know. Should I do that? <laughs> that would be funny. Just to show you, I mean, uh, Christian Prince, he give money to all Muslims in the world. A lot of money coming to his, you know, and he can make all Muslims, he buy them cars to leave Islam. I mean, come on, he can do it. Yeah. I mean, he can uh, tomorrow make uh, uh, hundreds of millions of uh, Indonesian convert to Christianity. 
I give them hamburger actually they they accuse me that I am offering Muslims hamburger you believe it hamburger yes brother hamburger you know I used to say in a chat room uh, bring me one Muslims and give you five hamburger just kidding because nobody is talking nobody there to debate us you know like now but I'm joking you know I'm not I'm not serious so get me one Muslim I'll give you five hamburgers so I went to a Muslim chat room and they say Christian Prince we got you busted we know how you convert Muslims out of Islam and they play my recording in the recording I'm saying give me one Muslim I will give you five hamburgers you believe it and then I took the microphone supposedly they got me busted now they knew how Muslims leave Islam so I, I said well are you guys saying that your Muslims leave Islam because of a hamburger? <laughs> I took a picture. I sent it to my email. I will post it in Patreon. But I will not. Uh, okay, hold on. I'm taking a snapshot of it. But I will not really keep it there okay I will put it post it there to show you this guy he not only he can spend money on Muhammad and he can you know I mean he can make all the Muslims uh, leave Islam a lot of money yeah but don't laugh at me okay <laughs> let us see hold on I will post it for a second and I will take it off For a few seconds. Okay, let us see. Let us upload the picture. Who want to see it? Let us see how many of you will see it first. But don't laugh, okay? Let us see this one. All right. <laughs> I'm not sure I should pause this. Should I pause it? I'm not sure really. What do you think, guys? Should I pause it? Should I? Okay, I will pause it for a second. Here we go. It is in Patreon. Go and see it. Go and see it because I will take it away immediately. Man, what a fancy TV stand. <clears throat> Did you see it? No, no, I posted in you. Uh, I posted in Patreon. I posted in Patreon. Anyone saw it yet? I called my uh, the picture I posted my new high tech TV stand. By the way, if you want to stand like this, I know I can. <laughs> Thank you, Princess. Nobody saw it? Okay, let me post the link for you here in, uh, hold on, in the chat. And then I will take it off. Yeah, you can see it even if you don't have a Patreon. I think I made it public, didn't I? Hold on. <clears throat> no, it's not public. Okay, here we go. 
No, it's public. Do you see it? Actually, that will make uh, watching TV is a better thing. And now it's public. Refresh again. Click again in the link. It's public. Try again. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, this is very expensive stand. I mean, you name it. Uh, <clears throat> it's very stable. It's red. Like the prophet, he liked red clothes, red underwear. And it will make your movies red too. You know, we'll ha you will have better reception in the antenna. <clears throat> right? <clears throat> no, if you click again, you will see it because I made it public. It was private before. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to delete it anyway. It's not a big deal. I have a TV in the pocket, that's all. <clears throat> this is the very, you know, innovative TV stand in the world. <laughs> yeah, I mean, actually, you have to be creative, you know? You have to be very creative. Yeah, you know, people do not know, really. I'm a very humble person, uh, you know, uh, uh, like uh, my life is very simple I don't I don't have uh, I mean if you look at my clothes I have the cheapest clothes ever you know cheap jeans um, shirts you know I, I don't I, I never wear suits I hate them you know um, and I don't care what people think you know I don't care really what people think. You know, people they like they like uh, you know like uh, okay if you are supposedly a big shot you should have a nice stuff etc. I don't care. You know, this is my private life. If you don't like it, yeah, don't be here. <clears throat> I don't know why it is, but I made it public. You see, I made the thing public public, so I don't know how better you. Maybe you have to make a username. Okay, hold on. Let me show it to you in the screen. Give me a second. All right. Are you happy now? Here we go. This is my TV stand, and this is the, inv in the invention of uh, Arabia. Here we go. You see it now. Do you see it? Hello. I mean, can you come with such invention like this? You cannot. You have to be an Arab like me, and you have to be... Uh, uh, inspired by Jibril. And don't uh, don't worry, the TV will not fail down. No, it's not. It's fine. It's really actually very, very, uh, you know, very stable. So, uh, <clears throat> what do you think, guys, about uh, this idea? Anyone have a better idea? Don't tell me there's no screen. Oh, there's no screen here. Eh, it's my fault. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Man... Okay, just give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. Patient, 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 patient. Patient, please. Okay, now you will see it. I will. Hold on. I mean, as if I'm showing you like a circle or something or, or like a, a magic. It's nothing. Here we go. Now you see it. Here we go. Are you happy now? All this noise about this. It's like seeing the the, the Barak of uh, Prophet Muhammad, the donkey who carried him to heaven. This is my stand for my TV. Do you see it? Who want one? Who want one? You pay only, it's for free. You pay only for shipping and handling. Let's do a scam like uh, Mimi and, you know, buy this from us, buy this. You know, brother, sisters, buy this, you know. Who want to get one? <laughs> but is it, is it, uh, is it, uh, no, what bigger? This is, uh, 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 this is from Home Depot. It, it does the job. Who cares? <laughs> I 
<laughs> Honestly, who cares? You know. You know when I when I finished my uh, law degree, uh, you know you know Middle Eastern how they are. So I, I was sitting in a rock in the side of the road. You know I just finished school. I mean I'm. So my mom she said to me, "Why you are sitting in the rock in the side of the road?" I said, "Why not?" She said, "Now you are a lawyer. You cannot do that." Who's going to give you a kiss? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> the picture does not appear. Uh, maybe you have a slow internet. <coughs> this is for my TV stand. Actually, I think it cost me six dollars. I forgot, five or six dollars, something like this. Yeah, actually, this pocket is very strong. You know, you can stand on it easy. So why you don't use it for the TV? The stand for the TV is like $300, $400, man. Oh, I want to do that. Here we go. You like it? Like it. You don't like it? Get out. <laughs> it's my house. It's my it's my place. <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? If you don't like it, just leave. If this is insulting to you, I mean, it's my place. What's your business? I like it. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, you know, uh, God is good. Bigger pocket? What bigger? I mean, this is big. This pocket is big, you know? No, I'm not uh, home actually. No, I'm not yet home. No. <clears throat> no hot water. I mean, how am I going to take a shower? That's why I bought the pocket. <laughs> and then uh, this uh, hot water fixed. So I have hot water now. So before I was uh, uh, boiling water and mixing it. <laughs> I'm living in a garage. No, I'm not living in a garage. So do you have to live in a garage? You see, you know, this is the, this is the problem is people, they, um, they judge by look. So like, let us say I'm living in a garage. Is that a problem? Is that a problem for anyone? Let us say it's a garage. So what's your problem? But no, it's not a garage. But, uh, you know, uh, I don't care. For me, actually, I'm sleeping on the floor. Should I take a picture for my uh, my, my bed now? <laughs> Honest to God, I'm sleeping on the floor. Literally in the floor. You know, I have a blanket in the floor, a pillow, and a, a little cover. You, know? you like it, like it. You don't like it, who cares? Right? <clears throat> Uh, yeah, you know, I, I, you know, you, you, you should be ashamed if there is something wrong you, you are doing. But you know, this is a, this is a, who I am. You, you, you want me to be your uh, uh, fancy, etc. Okay, and I'm not your fancy person. Actually, yeah, not in my house, you know. But uh, I mean, I'm, it's not where I live normally. Uh, but still, even in my house, you know, I don't really have a fancy stuff. Very simple. Don't worry, my friend. We are not asking for a donation. Uh, <clears throat> posting. Uh, okay. <laughs> Shall we take this picture off? Because now YouTube will think we are promoting. Uh, we are doing a promotion for uh, Home Depot. <laughs> They ask you, do this video have any promotion for any commercial? So now they will think you are promoting people, like asking people to buy this pocket. <laughs> I'm really old. Yeah, actually, I uh, I use this pocket too to sit outside. Outside, there's a little tiny uh, balcony, and there, there's no chairs. I don't have chairs. You know, I have like a chair now. I, I told you I got a chair uh, uh, two days ago. You know, like actually, this this chair here I got uh, yesterday. 
so I was using Pocket to sit on it in the in the balcony. So if you come to visit me here, you you will find Christian Prince sitting outside in this pocket drinking his tea. Eh, this is me. You like it, like it. You don't like it. It's your business. You know, nothing is better than being humble. And whoever in the world don't like it, let him hit his head in the wall. Because, you know, that will guarantee you a comfort. You see, what is the business of people of what I wear, where I sit? You know, I mean, what's your business? If you are a person who likes somebody because the way he dress or expensive stuff he have, or, uh, you know, that's mean you don't like him. You like what he do. I mean, how he dress, you like, you like, you know. Uh, but here, this way, uh, whoever like you, they like you as you are. As simple as you are. Not for a money you show off with. And by the way, Middle Eastern, they, they love to show off. And this is why I don't really associate. I, I find myself stranger with Middle Eastern. For sure, I'm not saying all Middle Eastern are the same, but the Middle Eastern who they are here, and I'm sure there's some of them here with us, they knew exactly what I'm talking about. They love to show off. It's a must. Me, I hate it. I, I don't go to a wedding party, even if it's somebody who is very close relative, if I have to wear a suit. I don't like a suit. I don't like to uh, wear anything have to do with this kind of clothes. I find myself like as if you are like a, an animal and you have a leech in your neck. You know what I mean? But some people, they cannot go out without it. They cannot go out with uh, expensive, shiny shoe. Uh, they cannot live without those things. For me, I don't care. For me, actually, the best in life is to be like here. You know, and this. Uh, look at this beautiful thing. Who care about suit? Look at the beauty God He created for us. This amazing nature. That is a beauty. That is our decoration. You know so if you want to beautify yourself by material first it doesn't matter what you do people will complain even if you have a Ferrari even if you have the most fancy house still people will, will, will say you are cheap you know what I mean enjoy your life and don't worry about what people will think about you. You are not doing anything wrong. If you are doing something wrong, this is a different story, you know? But this is your, I mean, what is the business of people? What people want? Do you have to dress as they want? Or you are the one who would dress those clothes? Maybe we should make a video about, you know, like a special time to talk about those stuff. Because many of us, actually, uh, we, we are overwhelmed because we want or we are trying to make others happy. We dress as they want. We eat as they want. We buy things because they, people want it. Like you buy a phone not because you need it, but because you want to show off. So your salary is a small, tiny. And now it's time to spend your the whole salary to buy a phone. Why? Because all your friends have the phone. I mean, do you want me to be the only one who don't have that phone? But the phone you bought, the new one, is not really a big deal different from the phone you have. So if your interest is making others happy, that means you are a fool. Especially it's not about making happy by making a poor person, uh, like helping him. No, about making them happy about things have to do with you, like the way you dress. So if you dress because they want you to dress a certain way, if you do things because they want you to do it, uh, if you buy things because this is how you fit between them, you will never end. You will never finish. You will never satisfy them. The best way to live is to be satisfied with yourself. 
not what people think because people will never be satisfied you see people are not even satisfied with God they complain about God you know what I mean even God himself he could not make them satisfy they complain So be happy, live your life simple. The one who like you the way you are, that means he like you. The same for women, by the way, women and men. Like women, they spend a lot of money on makeup. Uh, even some, they do plastic surgery. Okay, well, the man who like you because you have big breast, excuse me, he will leave you as soon as he sees someone have bigger ones or nicer. <laughs> so what you did, you destroy yourself. You humiliated yourself. If a man he loves you because the way you are, he will never leave you because he loves you the way you are. Not the way you show off. If a person he loves you without makeup, for sure he will not leave you when you have makeup. But if he love you with your makeup, but he never saw you without makeup, then he might leave you because now you don't have makeup. Because he see a different person. Right? So, you know, be, be, be yourself. Be simple. And those who like you to be who you are, they are welcome. Those who don't, let them go. As simple as that. Right? Yeah, this is for good for a quality of life topic. All right, but you know we are making videos like this here because here we have way more uh, subscribers. There we speak about topics like this, you know, our life, things we should do, not about Islam, not about this garbage. Yeah. Everything you do in your life, the first thing, the first thing you have to think about. Am I doing it wrong? If not, do it. The clothes you wear it, wear as you wish. Be happy, be relaxed, be happy. Don't wear tight clothes because it's a fashion. I never buy something that's called fashion. I believe it's stupid. I believe it's a waste of money because all of them they are expensive just because they are fashion. They say to you signature, right? Well, signature, this is signature of the fool. It's a fool rich fooling me to take my money and I am the poor this is exactly what happened you work like a donkey the whole month so you can buy a bag made from plastic will cost you maybe more than your salary for two months as simple as that somebody is fooling you to take your money why you can go and buy a good bag for ten dollars and maybe we'll live longer right very simple <clears throat> we there's a guy his name is Danny when I call me are you a Muslim Danny are you a Muslim my friend where is Danny I don't see him <clears throat> If Islam is fake okay hold on well you said something very important my friend uh, but your prophet said that uh, people not only will leave Islam uh, the city of Al Medina will become the city of dogs did he say that let me show you your prophet saying that I mean you see I'm using your logic your prophet saying that Islam will be abundant to the point the city, one of the most holy cities for Muslims, will be ignored and people will not be there and dogs will be pissing all over the city, including your prophet the grave. Do you see it? So maybe you are saying that your prophet is a liar. How many Muslims they visit 
the city of a Medina every year. According to your prophet, the city will be empty. There's nothing there except dogs and beasts. And the dogs will urinate all over. All over your holy city. Are you there, Mr. Danny? Is this guy there? Are you there, Danny? Or Dini? This is Muhammad saying that, not me. And there's tons of reference where Muhammad said that Islam will shrink, Islam will die, no more scholars, no more believers, nobody believe in Islam. This is what Islam saying. In the top of that, my friend, we are three times more than the Muslims. And not only that, Tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of Muslims convert to Christianity every year. According to Al Jazeera, Al Jazeera, me, six million Muslims leave Islam a year to Christianity. Who won the hadith? Anyone want it? So either you say Muhammad is lying about in here in this hadith. Or you say that he is saying the truth. That means Muslims will leave Islam. Right? Anything else, Mr. Danny? I'm not too bro in English, but I understand. Okay. Well, Mr. Denny, if you are a Muslim, you are more than welcome to come to our here podcast anytime you want. And maybe tomorrow when I go live on air, if you like, you can call me. Even if you don't have good English, no problem. I will be patient with you. All right? Just before you call me tomorrow, uh, text me. Say, I am Denny. I wanna, I'm wanna. i the one who you know, I, I, I wanted to talk to you yesterday. And I will be happy to take you and talk to you. Yeah, Islam is a very stupid religion, my friend. Well, do you really believe that there's a God he will give you in this private part? And women, she have a butt one mile. Huh? And a lot of women for sex. I mean, what is that? This is like a farm full of horny porn. So... Muslims are leaving Islam. It's not, you know, the, the, the different is when a Muslim leaves Islam, he don't go and make a video because he will be scared to be killed. For this is a gang mafia religion. The one who leaves Islam should be killed. But if somebody converts to Islam, they will make a million video for the same person. That's the whole story. So the one who leaves Islam, they don't show their face. They change even their names. They change even the place they live for safety and security. Anyway, I want to say thank you guys for being here. I pray to the Lord to save us from the evil of the devil, including Islam, for it is very evil cult. I pray that the Muslims will open their eyes and their heart and they will not believe in a stupid book like the Quran and the Hadith, which we can expose very easy. And I encourage all the Muslims, anyone who believe I'm wrong, feel free, please. You know, we will we are almost live on air every day. Feel free to join us and to be with us anytime you wish. When I open my Skype, I say my Skype is open so people, they can call me. Right now, my Skype is off because we know we open it for long, nobody called. Actually, we have one only, but he was a joker and he was an idiot. So, uh, uh, thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you. Uh, subscribe to our channel. Tell your friends about it. Feel free to download my videos. Those are made for you. You can download them, put them in your channel. You can add subtitles to, to them. Just be honest in the translation. Don't fabricate. And don't claim that they are your videos. Just say those are Christian Prince videos.
So thank you. May the Lord bless you. And I will see you soon again. Christ is Lord and Islam and everything else is false. And the Lord will be back. And the time will come where the believers will rejoice. And those who rejected the Messiah, they will live and die in sorrow. Don't be one of them. Time goes so fast. Yesterday, you and me, we were kids. Tomorrow we are very old. The day after we are dead. Time will come and time swim extremely fast, faster than a bullet. You think you are not going to be there, but you are, my friend. If you don't believe me, see the billions of people who die before us. Go tomorrow and visit the graveyards and see how many people left behind, I mean, before you. So, if you are young and you think, or you make fun of the old ones, look how they look like, soon you will be exactly like them and maybe more. If you are eh, in the middle age, you think you still have time, you never know. Your life might be taken from you right now as we speak. Actually, there's many even famous people who they are very young, they die in a very young age. You know, death will come. And when death comes, there is no return without the Messiah. Your key of salvation is to follow him, to believe in him, and then you will be victorious. You will be victorious over death, over sickness, over illness, over uh, uh, your broken heart. All of us, we have, you know, we have pain. All of us, we, we have suffering. And life will overwhelm us with problems, issues, you know, work, money to pay, bills to pay, children, family problems, illness, sickness, you name it. How we can fight all of this? It's very tough. It's very hard. But for a believer, life is a comfort even if he is in a war zone for he's a believer believer provide you when you believe it provide you with hope provide you with a new energy provide you with a new tomorrow and take your worry away a person who don't have a belief he have nothing. He's empty. He's worried about tomorrow. He's worried about today. He's worried about everything. Do you know how many death threats I get every day? How many people want to kill me? How many people pray, pray for my death? I have no worry. I have no worry. I don't even think about it. Because I will die and it doesn't matter when but i will die with honor i will die not as a coward who refused to tell the truth i will die and people will remember me so how i will die it doesn't matter but one day i will and for sure one day you guys you will not hear my voice no more but I left a lot of work behind and my voice will be heard by the Lord and my voice will be heard by millions and millions of people after me and now thanks God we have the internet so our teaching will stay Christian Prince will go he will go with the dust he will be a sand and the sand will fly but the teaching the truth will stay and that is the most important. So, you work for tomorrow, either to be remembered for good, or to remember to be remembered about bad you do or you did. So try your best to be remembered for good. Please don't die. Why? You actually, maybe you should make a topic about this. Why? Why death is a problem? You see, if you are a Christian, you should not fear death. I have no problem to die immediately right now. Why I want to? Why I want to fear? I mean, what? 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 The problem? 
my friend, you are born to die. So why you why you people are afraid from this uh, topic? You should not be afraid of it. You as a Christian, the Messiah, he said, whoever believe in me and die will live. So death for us as a Christian is the new journey. It's like you just you, you your life just has started. It's not the opposite. It's totally the opposite from what you think. But my friend, uh, enjoy life and enjoy death. Because death will bring you salvation. Will bring you comfort. It will finish with this sick word. Look at this sick word. Crimes. Crim Open your TV. You know, even though I was going to go, but uh, <clears throat> uh, you know, once we were like doing like hiking, you know, going in the and in, in empty field, and there is a there was a storm and etc. and green, strong green. So we, there is no place to uh, to hide in. You know, there's a graveyard. Graveyard, you know, they have those like rooms for graves. So I said to them, let us go there, sleep there. <laughs> sleep in the grave? <laughs> I said, this is the best place to sleep in. Those are dead, they are peaceful. My worry is not a dead person in the grave next to me. My worry is a human being. A human being is the one who will hurt you. A human being who is alive, not a dead one. The dead one are very peaceful. So, if you sleep in the graveyard, you will not be harmed. Who is going to harm you there? Right? So, imagine they are afraid just because it's a graveyard. They are terrified. Why do you want to be terrified? This is, the, this is the best place, actually. The most safe, secure. There's nobody there. <laughs> <You know? laughs> so... But you know, for us, because we have this, uh, we have this uh, phobia from the word death. Look at how many people say, "Don't talk about it, please." Stop saying that word. Why? Why? I joined the army many times. I went through war. I mean, you see, actually, I noticed that the one who fears death, the death come to him. I went through a lot of things. Don't worry, as the songs say, be happy. <laughs> anyway, uh, again, thank you. I am sorry that I, I mentioned this topic. Maybe this topic, many people don't like to talk about it. But my friend, trust me, be, you know, you should be comfortable talking about it. Accept it as as a part of your of your journey. And being a believer, it is a station, not the end. So you should not fear it. You should not be worried about it. And I promise you that uh, death is better than pff, the garbage we have around us. I mean, these days you are worried if, if somebody come to your door, knock at your door. You know, old days where people, there is simple, beautiful, uh, good heart. I mean, it's gone. You go in the bus, you are just watching who is going to take your back, maybe. You know, how many thieves there? How many terrorists? Who is going to explode himself? Right? So, uh, don't think about it as it is the end. Think, think about it as it is the new start for a new journey, which is going to be very and way better than what we have. So, thank you very much for being here. And again, I'm not going to continue speaking anymore. Because each time we say thank you, we open a new topic and we, we stay. May the Lord bless you, all of you. And uh, my love to all Indonesian who came here. Please download the video, cut it pieces if it's long, and share it with your friends. Thank you. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And we see you soon. Bye-bye. Take care.